Hello, everyone, and welcome to Jamfet Live for this Saturday, the, the 13th of November. It's the 13th of November, and I'm very excited about today's show, guys, because we have two uh, guests who I um, absolutely adore. Um, I'm going to tell you about them in a minute, but just let me share this live out. I can already see Nathaniel backstage and Julie's backstage as well. So <laughs> early birds. So just a minute, guys. Um, let me just share out this live. All right, so uh, let's see who we have with us. Yard Flex is in the house saying up, up, up. Uh, greetings to you, Yard Flex. Mystic Sensation is here as well. Greetings to you, Mystic. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we're just going to... Uh, <laughs> Curry Goddess is in the house. Live with Curry Goddess saying blessings. Greetings to you, Curry Goddess. And Curry Goddess is actually a member, guys. She's a member of this channel. So please give her some special love. She's also a content creator, so you can visit her channel as well. Uh, so tonight, guys, I want to introduce you to two people who have been making waves, making waves across uh, the nation, and not just Jamaica, but all over the world. Uh, we have with us uh, Nathaniel Pete, who uh, is probably the most powerful black man in Britain. <laughs> Uh, he is. Um, he does a lot of things at an LP. Um, he is uh, head of Jamaicans Inspired, head and founder of Jamaicans Inspired, and he also runs the Safety Box in, uh, uh, which is a non-profit organization, and they work a lot with. I've seen a number of their reports that they have done with a lot of kids who some have done prison, some have been in the streets, etc. And it's really about um, trying to, you know, reinsert these kids back into the normal scope of life, if you will. So Nathaniel P, he's going to tell us about what he does, to be honest. And uh, we have also uh, the funniest Jamaican since Oliver Samuels. And I think everybody would agree with me on that. Um, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> she just made me laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh all the time, like nonstop. If I'm really not feeling that good, or sometimes I'm just scrolling through uh, Instagram and I just come upon one of her skits, and it's just so funny. And um, so I'm talking about Ju. I have to say Juliet Budley. Um, we, uh, I think she's used to it by now. People always call her Judith, Judith Bodley, <laughs> the journalist. Raymond is here. Tanisha is here. Corey is here as well. Greetings. Well, Tanisha said, Why Eddie me reach? Because you know, me know, say, yeah, yeah, say me dash you. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to bring up Julie and Nathaniel on the screen, guys. They're here in living colors. Greetings. Yeah, man, it's good to be with you again. Good to be with you, Eddie, man. Um, and big up to everybody that's zoned in as well. And Julie, big up yourself as well. Respect. <laughs> Hi, Edward. Hi, Nathaniel. <laughs> well, I'm really happy. I'm making make happy Chinese. Yeah, yes. Pause. I look good. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know, I so said that Julie have to bring the energy straight away. And I still start like, that. Right? <laughs> <Definitely, definitely. laughs> I think most Jamaicans can say that she is like a bright, uh, a bright sunshine in their, their lives, you know, like uh, so guys, she comes with some stuff and we're like, oh my God, I forgot that that exists, you know, that is from <laughs> what is still full of days. <laughs> Julie, Julie, like I said, Julie Mango, how are you, my dear? I'm doing all right. Um, so we actually went to school together, you know, guys. Yes. So. <laughs> yeah, but don't make some of the glory shine off on me. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you. It's good to see that you're doing so well. It warms my heart. And um, 
I guess you grew up in the shadow of your sister. So now what is she saying? Did she ask you for your autograph now? Mm-mm. <laughs> All right, so um, Tidan is here. Tanisha said, I was busy with the Lord. Tanisha, that's fine enough. That's great as well. That's great. So um, <laughs> Tidan is saying, hey, CDE is in the house. CDE TV is saying blessings. Mystic, Ricardo. Ricardo, greetings to you. So I'm going to start with Julie, and I'm going to say maybe you could introduce yourself. Tell us about your background. Um, Me? Yeah. You're from Mandeville. I guess the people want to know where you come from. So. Hi, everyone. Is where Nathaniel gone? It, it, bathroom break, man. Bathroom break. <laughs> So my name is Juliet, and... Of course, my moniker is Julie Mango, and I was born at Not All Hospital in 1981, down at Kingston there, <laughs> bottom side or um, Hop Park Camp. Yes, the soldier camp there, Not All Hospital, bottom side, Hop Park Camp there, or... Um, and then What's I... What's Kingstonian? I, I never know that. Well, I'm a Kingstonian for about an hour or so. That is the time that it took for <laughs> my parents then. To take me from the hospital and carry me back to Clarendon, which part into the house that my father built with his own two hands for me and my sister. <laughs> so I lived in Clarendon from from age zero to twelve, and then when my parents got divorced. I moved to Mandeville with mommy. Of course, she's not gonna live with daddy. But the Ellen Porter house. <laughs> so I lived in Manchester from ages. Um, I always go again now. 12 to me, know this my heart now. 12 to 19, no, it are 20. Let's call it 18 and a half. Since we graduate from high school, which high school? Your officer, not tell me, so you come from the program. People, 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 people. I went it, I went it to the bestest high school into Jamaica. It is none other than Manchester. High school. <laughs> preach it, my sister. Preach it. You got to preach it, my sister. <laughs> All right. So I guess you're going to have to tell us how you come up with the name Julie Mango. Is it like uh, people used to call well, it? Well, my, when, so there was, when we was, when I was living in Clarendon, there was this big old mango tree in the front of the yard, right? Mm. Big, 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 big. Of course, it's my daddy planted. Everything is daddy, him do it with, you know, parents that me do that with my own poo, honey, no, me planted, me this, me that. So, as far as I know, daddy planted that tree. Me born come see the tree. Big, big, big. Mm. But whatever. Case so, uh, CDE is questioning Manchester school as. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody says the same Jago. Hi. All right. All right. All right. What is I going to spread love this evening? All right. Cool. Cool. Okay. Just all love right. Cool, yes, sir. <laughs> Um, so I used to sit under the tree and eat a lot of Julie mangoes, and then I did just I never used to eat no other mango. No matter if, if mommy cut it up and put it in fruit salad and give me, I want Julie mango, Julie mango. So my daddy, being the troublemaker that he is, and being the joker, the jovial person that he is, he started calling me Julie mango. And then you no, know, my parents sometimes they call me Julie or mm. Julie mango. Like if you go around my family right now, they don't call me Julie, they call me Julie or Julie mango. Oh. All right, so guys, there you have it, because I know most people are asking the question. Um, my dad gave me that name when I was little. So tell us, uh, I know that you were in high school, we used to admire you, because you used to have the biggest mouth in school, because you were shouting down the cadet. Um, she was leading the cadets, guys, and I used to just look at her and admire her, because she was tough. You were tough, like, the, like you know, tougher than those boys. So um, <laughs> the people that were said. Brayman says Morant Bay High School from St. Thomas. Hold on, it look like it look like we touch a button with the high school thing, you know. Nathaniel, how are you so quiet? What high school? <laughs> what? Guys, did we touch a button? We're so um, we're so sorry. It's just love. Every high school is great. Mystic saying, um, it's it's our den. <laughs> <laughs> so um, so tell us, Julie. So I, you know, I grew up admiring you because you were, you were in charge of this cadet and all these. Young soldiers want to be, etc. But um, but now we know you for comedy. So uh, is it that you just happened to land in comedy, or it was all planned? 
No, so comedy was a part of me from childhood because most of the stuff that I do and the way that I act and especially when I'm imitating men, like if I'm imitating two men having a conversation, mm. that's my uncle and my dad. Anytime you see oh. or uh, my mom, she used to own a bar. She used to own a restaurant called Mandeville Hot Pot Restaurant. I don't know if you know. You're probably, no, probably Katie and your younger sister would know. Uh, was, it, was it not near hospital? But, um... It was near courts. It was near courts. Oh, and, courts. Yeah. Yeah. All right. so I'm know it and um, it had a bar. She had a bar. And of course, um, she not going to let me go home by myself. So I used to stay at the restaurant and study in the evenings up to night. And the old men... There's a man named Gunsmith that used to be at the bar, a retired policeman, and the rest of them drunk friend them and them old man them. And I used to just sit and watch them talk. <laughs> and that's how I get like some of the, the idiosyncrasies and some of the some of the ideas. And because I, I, I remember them and I used to interact with them. And when mm. they see me coming around, they would try not to curse any bad words because they see me. But it, it's too late because I heard all the bad words mm, <laughs> already. Mm, mm. And um, so so I, that was I, I i saw all of that and then in high school remember i used to, i was in drama club you know miss Kalai. i was in oh, Ayayi. Yes, Ayayi. I was in yes i was in i used to put on shows every year for five years of that was school. like the manchester equivalent to Ashe guys ah, right. Was at one point right 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 and um so i was in ayayi i'm doing a lot of stuff with that so Drum performing arts is kind of just, it's just me, actually. I really, really love it. It just comes naturally for me. Glory to God. And uh, the cadet thing, no. I, <laughs> people just <laughs> paid attention to that because I guess because I was short and tiny and I'm there walking up and down and giving command to people taller than me. I don't know why persons found it so intriguing, but that's just yeah, something. That's how we remembered you in high school. <laughs> A bit, you know, uh, and you did very well as well. All right, so um, so when did you start doing these skits? Uh, because I was, I mean, I was in the WhatsApp group and somebody shared this skit. I mean, I looked at the person and I said, "Hold on, <laughs> isn't this like Juliet?" I'm like, "Hang on, what?" And then I went over to um TikTok and then I saw that it was one big bang around and you were like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not able to get me out of here. You were that big, and so, so what, when did you start doing this? Because um, I suppose COVID as well is that your story as well. I mean, so to be honest with you, I was always doing skits and putting them out, like maybe on Facebook and stuff like that. But it never did catch. Mm. Um, it never did catch uh, until I joined TikTok, and even and this is not my first TikTok account. I had a previous TikTok account where. I mean, I was just doing foolishness because at that time, my mental health was still in jeopardy. I was still going through depression. I was still going through a whole lot of things. I was still self-mutilating. I was still doing all of that stuff. So, you know, it wasn't the time for God to really put him foot on the gas and say, bam, you know, large up your yeah. thing. And so I was always trying to put stuff out there because the, um, the desire was in my heart, but the blessing wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? I think that some man plans so God wipe. That was one of those things, and it was for my own benefit. But then December 12th last year was the first time I for mm -hmm. this this TikTok account that I have, I put out a video. My 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 stepmom, which is my dad's wife, she sent me a video uh, about somebody imitating praise and worship in America versus Jamaica. Yes. So I said to myself, say, let me just reenact this skit, yeah, man. So I reenact it and I post it on TikTok and I post it on Instagram. And to my surprise, somebody sent it to me from my WhatsApp and said, hey, you're large, you know? And I said, huh? And then I checked TikTok and get a whole heap of views. And then I see people start following me. Them time there, I had like mostly 500 people on TikTok mm. and maybe 400 some pe 400 people on, on Instagram. And I just see people start following me and stuff. And I'm like, hmm, I hope them know something not really doing this full time, you know? But then I started to do it and I enjoy it and then it. It blossomed. Yeah, and now people are looking so forward to it. Um, the safety box is here. The safety box saying, yes, Julie. Tanisha says, what a name. I guess she's referring to the Julie Mango. Um, CDE saying, STGC for life. <laughs> John Lisa said, St. Jago. Uh, Mystic said, Arden. So the school people, them, are, are, are come. Uh, <laughs> but um, CDE said, yes, I was following Julie Mango from Facebook days. All right, so um, yes, 
Yes, yes, I can. All right, so um, so one more question, Julie, before we go over to Nathaniel. And guys, uh, we're gonna touch on the question of mental health. And Julie did mention that she was struggling with mental health as well. Um, and um, so uh, Ricardo and Diego Massey. So we're gonna touch a little bit on that. But in terms of um, some of the, um, do you get like crazy messages? Like what are some of the touching messages that you might have received up to now, Julie? So like in my inbox, right? Cause you know that I talk about mental health and I had a live with the minister of health in Jamaica, you know, just to, to, to kind of to, to, to air out what are the, 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 the facilities available for persons who are suffering from mental health issues. And ever since that, I get, and even before that too, I get messages from my, in my inbox from teenagers who are living with parents that they can't talk to, teenagers who are being molested, to teenagers who have yeah. been raped, teenagers who have no one to talk to. They want to talk to me, and I'm trying to tell them that I'm not a therapist, but you can get help, and they, yeah, yeah, they don't yeah. want to talk to anybody else. They want to talk to me, yeah. um, and I try to talk to them where I can, but you know, I have to declare ethically that I'm not a, a trained therapist or anything like that, even though I'm a life coach, and they still want to talk to me. Sometimes it breaks my heart because a lot of them... Um, one this there's this girl she was raped right she's 14 and she she's come she said she's saying that the the person who raped her knows all the people in the court system and they dropped the case and she has to just live with that yeah. that just literally broke my heart i mean i wasn't in a position to do anything about it all i could do is just encourage her to you know i don't know just like move on so I get a lot of messages like those. I get a lot of congratulatory, me congratulatory messages. Mm -hmm. You know, thanks for your comedy. My father just passed. You helped me through this period. You helped me through my depression. Your comedy. It's like, it's almost like it's not me. It's really God's work. Because there's no way me as a human is capable of doing such big things. Yeah. That's God yeah. doing his thing through me. Using my comedy to heal people, to do that, to do that. So, you know, it's almost like I'm just a vessel and God is doing his thing. And I just step back and I say, glory to God for all of that. So, yeah. All right. So stick up in there, Julie. We're going to introduce Nathaniel Cheat to the conversation. Nathaniel, for the benefit of those who uh, have never met you, which is a bit rare, I suppose, still <laughs> introduce yourself. Tell us, uh, tell us uh, what, a little bit about yourself, Nathaniel, and what the work maybe that you do with um, J Inspired and uh, the Safety Bank. Yeah, man. Well, my name is Nathaniel. I'm here in the United Kingdom. Um, so I'm a stone throw away from Eddie, but I'm miles away from Julie. <laughs> but you know, um, I'm passionate about I'm passionate about Jamaica. I'm passionate about investing back into the island as a diasporian. Um, so I actually sit as the Global Jamaica Diaspora Council representative for the Southern United Kingdom underneath the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade in Jamaica. But that is not political, it is an advisor, and we're trying to really disrupt things underground in Jamaica to help help people, as well as a number of philanthropic projects that we do. I'm the chairman of Jamaicans Inspired, which one, of, which is one of the largest Jamaica diaspora organizations here, as well as being um, a CEO and an entrepreneur um, of a multi-award winning youth enterprise known as the Safety Box Youth Programs, which has had a measured impact of working with over 17 and a half thousand young people at risk, those in prison, as well as young people that are coming through um, the school system, excluded from school systems here in the United Kingdom. Um, and I have another company, which is known as Genex, which is a solar company, which is um, teach, teaches women and young people how to assemble and to install solar products. But within the safety box, we work a lot with mental health. Um, and we, we assist a number of young people in elevating from positions of darkness into light. And the key thing within this is really about changing mindsets, because again, with the work we do in Jamaica with Five for Peace, um, helping youth that are in gangs, um, the same thing affects young people. Right. It is the mind. It is the mind. Because it's not knives and guns that kill people. It is mindsets. Uh, yes. And as well as that, it is the condition of mindset that break relationships and cause a range of different issues and problems. So, you know, my whole ethos is around purpose. 
And, you know, Julie kind of alluded to this as well. She said that, you know, it's purposeful. It is, it's the light of God. It is the light of ensuring that she is living a purposeful life through what she does. Again, with me, I am totally about purpose. I'm totally about investing in people because that is the power behind us. And, you know, when we band together as Jamaicans, we have the ability to really disrupt change. That's it. And the diaspora is out here pushing. I mean, Eddie, look at this, what you're doing in, in, yes. in the French diaspora, you know. <laughs> and, you know, Jamaica are versatile. We're so versatile and talented. Yeah, we're yeah, talented. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because, listen, Eddie, yeah, Eddie, Eddie all right, do, do, do some French. Do some French, Eddie. Merci à tous d'être ce soir. You see, the thing about this is that as Jamaicans, anywhere we go, we do well. You know, yeah, we are, we I are dynamic people. That some Jamaican teacher won a million dollars this week for being like, I don't know, some global teacher or something. So we do leave our mark wherever we go. That's that's for sure. That's true, man. But, um, a lot of us are lost. A lot of us will turn around. I mean, for a while, I was like, you know, in a high school, I'm this bright individual, whatever. But for a long period in my life, I just got the impression that I was just turning around in circle. I didn't know what to do, what I was doing. I have no money. I see nothing I've got through. I'm like, you know, <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, so how do you, like, you know, talk to people like me? I mean, you could see where somebody who you go to school, you study, you come out, you're struggling still. You could see how that could affect somebody or plunge them into depression or, you know, mental issues. Definitely. And, and, and one, of the key, one of the key areas that we work with is actually um, use incredible messengers to speak to them. So it's somebody that has risen through the depression or risen out of that darkness that can actually help them and support them. And for me, um, you know, I, I, I went through a very heavy period of my life where I was depressed because I went through a very traumatic divorce. I was, I was um, having to fight for my son in a, in a court system that does not like black people. So you know that, you know, the British system and the American system, they don't, they don't really like black men in the courts. It is against us. And so I was fighting for my son. And when you have a legal process that is stopping you from seeing your child. Yeah. You know, this is such a big thing in terms of yeah. your mind. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, I went through the process of having to deal with a lot of that. And I had to find ways of, of, of undertaking cell therapy. And, and, you know, whereby you have young people that are in, engaged in, um, you know, or, um, uh, sexual um, assaults or, or they have daddy that's uh, molesting them. And, and it's a big problem in Jamaica right now. Oh, yes. It's a huge problem with, with our young people. Because and, I'll stick up in with that because, I mean, I remember I went to, I, I've, I've said it already on my channel, but I remember I was like molesting when I went to football practice once. And um, I was 11 and I didn't have the courage at the time to talk to anybody about this because number one in jamaica people don't think that boys are molested mm -hmm. but you don't think that boy is molested by another man you know it's very touchy as a subject and so for years i went around with that hurt and that um because you know i just felt guilty about the whole situation yeah. I, I kept it for years i think it, i didn't talk about it until maybe over 10 years after it happened, it yeah. finally I, I mentioned it to somebody. Now I can talk about it freer, but um, things like that, man, it damaged your whole <laughs> your whole um, childhood right into. I don't think that's something that you can get over. No, indeed, and you know, mental health is is, a, is something we don't really speak of as a Jamaican. We don't really we don't really, you know. There is a number of men that do not engage in mental health. Yeah. I mean, the women kind of naturally do because then you know they talk with each other and yeah. they're kind of in between and they're doing things, but the men don't often speak. And it is only through and by somebody that has been through the process that can really speak and begin that therapeutic process with them. So there's a number of different ways we do it. We do it through music. You know, we do it through comedy. Like, you know, there's I Julie's on here just to lighten the subject because it's a big subject. And I think that's the reason why you did culture with <laughs> mental health because it's a yeah. heavy subject. And it's so, a heavy subject. 
you know, and, and so art therapy is a big a big thing that we do for young people as well, whereby they, they, they can they can do things with art as a way of um, getting through that therapeutic process as well as the one-to-one -one coaching and, and therapeutic process that they go through. And then it is through that then we help them then to build entrepreneurial skills. If they're um, lacking then income, then it's a way for them to use their hands through baking or cooking. And now they can cook yeah. a cake and they'll get money from that. We were working with a young man, in fact, who was, um, again, Jamaican diaspora and um, young person being in and out of prison from age 10 right the way through to 16. Had a, had a drug line, had the other young people doing the drugs, um, trafficking the drugs, right? And we work with him because he was doing this thing known as county lines in the UK, whereby he was going across the different regions and selling drugs. What we did is we showed him how to make um, fruit cake, Jamaican fruit cakes, and showed him and uh, gave him the entrepreneurial skills of baking. And then we we then purchased the cakes, yeah. showing a different way of actually earning income with no risk. Yeah. 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 You know, and so once you deal with the mental, once you deal with a mental problem, you need practical skills. You need practical skills that you can give these guys. And oftentimes, with their, with their no risk um, attitude, with their fearless attitude, this is the thing that, that we need in entrepreneurship to help. Them. But I, I don't even know if Julie can speak to the comedy side and, and then even how, well, you know, you will live. I wanted to ask is that, um, and that's probably a question that many people will ask, is um, if they look at somebody like Julie, who is always chirpy and vibesy, and somebody like Nathaniel, who is always inspiring, how could people like you be suffering from any mental issue whatsoever? You know, that's a big puzzle to people. Yeah. Um, you know what? So I started to cut myself when I was eight years old because the household that I grew up in, my dad was an excellent provider and my mom was an excellent caregiver. It's just that there was this one thing that was missing and it was emotional health and yeah. mental health. Because remember, our parents mm -hmm. always try to give us better than they had before, you know. So yeah. it's not an indictment. On, it's I always try to say when we are discovering the things that our parents did wrong, it's not an indictment on them. It's just that they did their best, but their childhood was far worse than ours. And they're just trying to, you know, improve and to cut the cycle in their own way. Um, but I grew up in a household where both my parents were fighting, physically fighting and beating each other and, you know, ending up in arguments and all of that. Granted, I never got any of that violence directed towards me, thank God. Um, but I started to get depressed and I didn't know. And so I, did, I thought it was my fault that they were fighting. And so yeah. I caught myself at the yeah. age of eight and I saw the blood come up on my finger and I thought it was intriguing and, and I didn't tell anybody. Yeah. And then all throughout high school, I don't, you probably wouldn't have realized it, um, Edward, probably Katie yeah. and would know, but all throughout high school, I was cutting my hand, um, just slicing my hand every time I feel depressed, 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 especially when my parents got divorced. And you know, Nathaniel, you can speak to this. When parents get divorced and the mother lives with the child, the yeah. mother demonizes the father, Mm -hmm. so much not knowing the, truth. the child and as i'm saying i love my mom she's still alive she's the best ever so mm -hmm. i'm not finding fault with them i'm just bringing things to life that we can we can learn and we can do better it's not a blame game right but my mom would tell me that my dad is you're jamaican you know what mother said about your papa, right yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> and that he abandoned me and that he chose his other children over me. And of course, I grew up thinking worthless. I don't care it and them drama, something there where you see going on. That was just me being able to stay alive while thinking that I was not worth anything. I used to think that I needed to die. First of all, my mom used to tell me that I'm the reason why she's failing in life. She used to take out everything on me because I was living with her when she was, when she was going through the divorce and the heartbreak and stuff like that. And so um, my mental health deteriorated and I, and I started to, to, to seek my own value in men. I started to date and think that the only way that I can be valuable is if I'm dating someone or if I'm with a man. And of course, we all know that that don't you know, end up good at all, right? Yeah. And then finally, in 2011, I decided I am going to call it quits. And I attempted suicide by crashing my vehicle on... Um, on the the Montego Bay, sorry, the, the, the road from the Falmouth Police Station to Delta Company where the soldier camp is. That's mm. the Falmouth Highway. 
I I was driving one night going back to Delta Company because I was in the JD at that time. And I was crying and I was thinking that I can't have no relationship because no, mm. no man don't want me. Every time when them come, them leave. Of course, they would leave because I was having a mental, I wasn't acting right. As right. Mm. Um, so again, not blaming any of them. And this is what healing does. You actually take responsibility for and see what you did wrong, right? right. Um, I, I don't I don't have any reason to live. My dad never loved me. Mommy says me, yeah. everything. So I just thought I needed to die. And so I sp sped up the car and I went into the oncoming traffic. A truck was coming ahead. And all I know is that the car flipped on its side and skate over into the into, into a ditch facing yeah. the opposite direction. And the truck um stared away from me. And all I know is I get up out of, and when I realize the car stop, I'm like, oh crap. And you know in the movies when your car is an accident, it always explodes, right? Yeah. And I'm like, no, so I don't want fire burn me up. Next thing me go live. And I was thinking all of those things, and then I open the vehicle and I run out, and that's one big thing. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I attempted suicide twice after that. Mm -hmm. yes. And because the thing is, when you attempt suicide and you don't succeed, you feel worse because you're saying you're not good at life and you weren't able to kill yourself. You're just worthless. But um, long story short, after going through all of that and after getting therapy outside of Jamaica, that is when I was able to heal because the stigma associated. Remember, my therapist is still Jamaican, you know, my therapist yeah. to this day. Is the same one I had when I was in Jamaica, but it wasn't working when I was in Jamaica because of the stigma associated with mental illness and the shame and the ostracism and people calling you a freak. People literally called me a freak. People literally heard rumors about me when I was in the JDF that I throw a stone after people and walk on the road. And it's crazy, right? And I can say that no because I'm over it and I processed it. But coming to the USA. It was, it's a different kind of environment. And I was able to, to get the therapy that I needed from my same therapist in Jamaica, but I was just in a different environment. And that's how my healing basically started. And then from the healing, I was able to perform comedy better. Because you see, when your mental health is not right, everything you do when come off kind of crampy. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it just not going to make. And then that's how the comedy came about. The comedy doesn't heal the mental health. The comedy is a product of having a healthy mind. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Oh, you know, the thing is purpose, purpose is oftentimes born from hardship. You know, purpose is oftentimes born from the hardship. And it is when we go through these serious conditions that I think that the most amazing birth of new things have. And Julie, from what you did, right, just on one TikTok, right? And look how that has just expanded. And, and I even think this is a blessing of the most high, really, mm -hmm. for, for the, um, the problem that you had before. And all of that darkness that you came through to have this light now, through comedy now, which is empowering so many people's lives. And that's it. It is purpose. It is purposeful. The moment we go through something like that, Eddie, and with you, Eddie, as well, the jam fit mm -hmm. and, you know, doing your various things that you do outreach in terms of the French diaspora and mobilizing the Jamaicans over there as well. You know, this is this is really the purpose. And so what I would even say to those people who are online now listening is that, you know, the, the position that you're in now is not going to be forever. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I suffered from, from mental health as a man. And for me to disclose this now, I suffered domestic violence in my home. And that was in addition to divorce, in addition to my son. And it was very difficult for me to speak about that. For many, for many years, I held that to myself. And it was only through um, covering up uh, blood uh, on my arms Um you know, and 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 then there was one person that kept on. My mom said to me, "What's that? Where is this from?" I, I do martial arts as well, right? And and I would never ever hit a woman ever. I have a deep deep respect for women. And as a martial artist, my mom would say to me this, <laughs> um, "Nathaniel, what happened to your face?" And I, and I, 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 you know, there's something there which is cut, and I would blame it on my martial arts training, yeah. when I'd never ever had an injury from martial arts before in my face. 
Now, you know, this is the help of shielding and the, 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 the immense courage that you need to go out because I, I would attend meetings and I would have to have a cloak of courage on each time because I would have to go off to the bathroom and then cry. Yeah. And this is the this is this is the deep 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 deepness of this because many men suffer in silence. And what I'm saying is this: love does not hurt. So if you're in a relationship that is that is bad, it doesn't hurt. And so get out of that relationship. Um, and be a, and be around um people of purpose and 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 people that can can offer you help. In fact, and it's so important to do therapy. I had to do therapy to process for myself and for my own healing, in addition to um, providing some level of therapy for my son as well, who had experienced things um, as a result of the divorce. And, you know, children oftentimes are the ones which suffer from these things. So um, let's, all, you know, always consider them um, in everything that we're doing to inspire them and motivate them, encourage them, lift them up with words. You know, don't don't destroy them with words because an average average child will earn, will hurt here, sorry, um, 13 more um negative things over one positive word of love yeah. in, 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 a, in, a, in a stable house but, but then when you're speaking most, about of young us, most of like my generation we grew up not even knowing what love was or yeah i love you was just something that was it's weird uh, weird even if i, I tell my mom you know that i love you and, in love with, and it was just the worst feeling ever <laughs> <laughs> like, like, it would come like, from like a school trip and you know, try to hug us and stuff. And we would just be so annoyed at it. Because <laughs> we just did not learn emotions, you know. I, 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 um, growing up in Jamaica at the time, I, I, I think without growing middle class, it has changed to a certain extent. But uh, there is still quite a bit of people who, uh, you know, they don't know what a hug is or, 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 or love. I want to shed some light from a woman's perspective in terms of like how we view men who are open with their emotions. It is the most masculine thing ever. And 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 let me give you guys some hope. My dad, who is 75, he is the most alpha and toughest male I know. He fix yeah. anything, fix truck, fix the world, fix car, fix road, everything in the be with him two hand them, right? right. But when it comes to balling, daddy will ball in front of anybody. It could be the Queen of England. If something happened, I did not feel too right. You see him take out in, in white handkerchief all the time, hand and, 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 and stuff. And if it's cold balling, him dead. He's not afraid to cry, not afraid to show his emotions. And trust me, that does not um the um take away from his masculinity that does not take away from the fact that if he says to me julie you're getting a pair of shoes next week saturday next week saturday rest assured i'm getting that pair of shoes it doesn't affect mm. his macho status because even now even though because his wife because he's very he's he's not as strong now because he's older now and he had brain surgery and stuff and his wife teases him and says he's mm. no longer a lion he's now a lamb and <laughs> even <laughs> even though he's weaker now um, physically, I still see him as that heroic person, even though when he ready for ball, especially when after the time when I committed, when I tried to commit suicide, that man ball him, ball him, carry me down to grandma and him lay down upon the floor and him ball and say, Why, my daughter? Oh, Jesus, oh, mercy. you know. So, guys, I tell you, it, there is nothing feminine about crying and showing your emotions, it is the most admirable thing you could ever do. From a woman's perspective. All right. Uh, so, uh, Julie, just on a personal note, because uh, you went through all these uh, struggles, at what point did things turn? Because, I mean, you were a senior therapist, you were going to church, you were having all these similar things. But at what point did you click to say, uh, I'm not suggesting that it's all over or whatever. No, man, I, I get you. Yeah. I get you. I get you. And there was a point where it did click. And I don't use the term healed because as long as you're alive, you are healing. You are mm. processing. There's no such thing as fully healed. And I want people to understand that you don't fully heal as long as you're on this earth. You can only fully heal when you are with God, um, Christ Almighty in the afterlife, right? Um, so for me, um, it clicked where... I 
wanting to kill myself and suicidal ideation just became I don't know distasteful. It's almost like it's almost like I, I'm I'm I moved from this is what I want to do to but why would I want to do that? Yeah. And it happened. I remember the night it happened. I was reading the book of Proverbs, and um, it says but it says something like um, happy is the man that finds wisdom. And then it mm -hmm. says, the, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Now, wisdom. knowing me with my, with my math brain, I write it out in an equation. I say happiness equals wisdom, but wisdom equals fear of the Lord. And I'm saying, but I want happiness. So I say, oh, so I must fear the Lord then so that I can get wisdom so that I can be happy. Listen, I don't know how comes, maybe, maybe it was the Holy Spirit or something, but I don't know how comes that kind of, it had that turning point for me, but it just kind of did. And that was about just two and a half years ago. It wasn't a long time ago. It was just two mm. and a half. So I've been suffering with this mental health issue for over 30 years. Mm. Um, so this was just two and a half years ago when I was sitting doing my daily devotions and stuff like that. And of course, I was doing therapy because therapy is something that what happened, you know, you see what therapy does, you know, it, it it allows you to unlearn some of the dangerous thinking that you had before, right? Mm. And when you unlearn that kind of thinking, you are able to, to process new ways of thinking. And so that is why I was able to process what the Bible was actually saying to me. And then it kind of did click. But it, 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 didn't, it, didn't, it, didn't, it didn't like magically fix everything. The process was still going on. It's always a process. Healing is a process that you do until you die. Right. All right, let me just welcome those who joined us. Um, I didn't acknowledge a number of you, but I saw you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I saw Stacey Yard Flex. I saw Triangle Music, Alex and Jackie. Uh, there was uh, Naturally Tammy as well. Greetings to everyone, guys. Feel free to throw your questions at Ju Listen, I don't know. I don't see Julie on the local platform. I saw it on. What's your wish local? It's like international. Connect with French diaspora. And then somewhere there. And this, we have my local. We have a superstar tonight to take advantage. And <laughs> throw, throw, <laughs> throw, throw your questions. And Nathaniel, probably the same question to you because you said that you went through a lot as well. Um, did your healing begin when uh, the other party start to do what you want to do, or how, no? How? Um, I, I remember I was um I, I went back to my mom and dad, and um you know that was my sanctuary to go back, and um I was in the house, in my old room, and um what happened was I got a letter saying if I go to see my son, then I'm gonna be arrested and put in prison. And this is what the court I, issue. This is the court issue in terms of my son, my legal battle for my son, because my ex-wife had put a whole lot of lies into the court and they believed her. Right? Mm -hmm. I lost my business, right? I lost um I lost uh, my martial arts um, school, right? The, the students began to leave. Wow. And I felt as though my whole world was crashing in. And what happened is they referred to it as being grayed out. And my eyes literally rolled back. I, I, I could not see anything apart from gray. And I hit the floor. I collapsed. And oftentimes you see these guys that become vegetables because of the mental issues in terms of the distress. Because un unlike others whereby they would be crying and doing so forth, I was working hard. I was traveling a lot. I was working. I was going through and I was just toughing it. I was just braving it and just going hard. And my body just quit. My brain yeah. shut down my body and I collapsed. When I hit the floor, I pulled the shelf down and I landed on the floor. Boom. Whilst I was on the floor, I heard a voice let go of the situation and hold on to me mm -hmm. let go of the situation and hold on to me my dad who had rushed to me when he heard the thud on the floor he heard he this is what he said you were on the floor 
and you were saying, help me, Jesus, help me, Jesus. That's what I was repeating in my subconscious mind. But in my mind, what I heard was, let go and hold on to me. And the moment I began to let go in my mind, in my mind, the, the eyes, my eyes began to come around and I began to come around. And then my healing process began at that point in terms of understanding what I had to do, which was to let go. It was to let go of the hurt. It was to let go of the pain. It was to let go of the issue. It was to let go of the, the circumstance and trust. That was it. And through that, through that therapeutic process that I did, both from a spiritual, um, sorry, I'm speaking with my hands because it's an emotional um, thing. You know, it's real. That too. It's real. It's real, right? In terms of the journey. In terms of the journey that you make through. And, you know, it was through um, family support. It was through friends. It was through um, accessing therapeutic counsel. It was through travel. I, I remember going home to Jamaica and I'd be on the beach and just go to St. Anne and go to the beach and just be in the, um, in the, in the, in the, in the serenity of the sunshine and just, and just the, the ocean. And I, and I traveled home several times during that therapy, um, therapeutic process. And those Jamaicans that know of my experience um and went through that experience themselves with, with with divorces i had a lot of support from a lot of people and that was one of the ways in which i managed to navigate the, the um the position in fact because you know when you're in business and you're doing certain things and you're, you're you're attending board meetings you need to ensure you tell somebody that you trust so that they can help you through the process yeah. so they can they, they, they can um speak for you in in, in your absence and that's surrounding the framework and, and that was me actually going through a journey as an adult Right, and experiencing this as an adult, um, but you know, it is it 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 really led me to a, a brighter position, you know. And after my divorce, I said I'm not going to get married again. And I just recently got married again. I have a beautiful wife. Yeah, Julie congratulations! Congratulations! I I I I <laughs> what I'm what I'm saying is that you know the, the brighter day the brighter day comes. Like you know, reggae music was a big thing for me as well. You know, listening to reggae music and eating the food and just going into my culture. You know, I'm being deeper back into the roots and heritage. That was that was part of the healing process. So you know, for me, it was um it was a journey of a journey of um experience and. You know, what I say is this, is that there's no regrets. There is only experience in life. And, you know, we should live with that at the forefront of our mind. Always. It's, there's no such thing as failure, but just experience. That's it. So, uh, Julie, what's next for you, my dear? Tell me about some of them big plans there. Wall, what do you call it? Warner Brothers and uh, mm -hmm. oh, well, well. Into facts and them people. Let me call you that. <laughs> What's next for me is what Nathaniel has promised to arrange. I am going to put him on the spot. <laughs> yes, well, you, know, you, know, Eddie, you know, Eddie, we deal with a lot of things. Like we helped um, Home Again come to the UK. We helped, um, uh, we, we did some things around Sprinter as well. And, and you know, you know, Eddie, they call me Lynx, right? That's my nickname, Lynx. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to put a link to Julie. That I'm going to arrange a meeting with some people. Um, that are in media um, to look to see if we can develop something with Julie, definitely. And um, bless the Lord, I pray that the meeting happened before for, before Wapi raised back from the dead after Philip. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. We believe in it. We believe in it. I think that um, well, most people um, clearly are in love with your content, That's and right. uh, they want to see more and more and more and more. Um, you know, so I, I can just say continue. And I, I'm sure that you'll be on the big screens, my dear, because as we say, you are the funniest somebody since Oliver Samuel. 100, 100. 100%. <laughs> well, when I shared it with my group that, you know, Julie was going to be on the platform, they were like, oh my God, I love her so much. I love her. I love her. <laughs> So you are love. Like you, you, you can't run against Andrew Holness in the next election. You no, are sir. <laughs> That's how popular you are. 
And Mr. Pete, what's next for you? you I know you're doing Well, I, I have been in between um doing the uh, move. Julie knows I've been moving house because we're having some dialogue. So moving, um, doing different things. Everything is kind of all over at the moment in terms of things personally, but I'm doing some really big things in terms of business. Um, we're putting a bid for the United Nations around solar energy. Um, so I'm working on that and I'm working on a big project, in fact, with the Jamaica Olympic Association. You know, a number of athletes struggle when they're overseas. And yes. so we're going to be beginning a very big fundraising program with the American Friends of Jamaica um, to fundraise for athletes, um, young people that really aspire to, to achieve more. They don't get sponsorship. Oftentimes they're at competitions and hungry, you know, because they they don't have the funds. They're just... Um, you know, the, the, uh, unless it's a national, unless it's an yeah, international well, meet. We would, have, we would have all read about the, the incident with Hansel Parchment, I think yes. it was. I mean, could I, he should have been able to call his own Uber or this what I mean. So that's um, right. That's right. That these athletes are, you know, superstars, etc. but they don't necessarily get the money or, you know, sometimes the money that's generated doesn't really get to their pockets, you know. So that's a great initiative. That's right. That's right. And so we're going to be working on a big program and uh, perhaps Eddie, I can come back on with um, maybe Ryan Foster, the head of the GOA, just to speak about this in the diaspora. But, uh, we're, doing a, we're going to be doing a fundraiser for them and, and we're working on another initiative, another youth initiative, um, which hopefully will empower those uh, young people uh, that are in Jamaica around education. Um, so there's a few things which are kind of um, in the pot, um, so to speak, in terms of entrepreneurship and, and in terms of expanding uh, the business operations. Um, you know, and um, hopefully going to be returning back to the project as well that was um, announced um, in Jamaica around the HOPE initiative. Um, but I know coronavirus has really slowed a lot of the um, mm -hmm. things down in Jamaica happening there. But yeah, some some really good things and, and the settling. Next year is Jamaica 60, so culture will be a big, big, big thing next year. <laughs> so Julie, we'll have to come to Paris. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> So um, um, before you go, uh, Julie, tell us how we can uh, find your content and how often you post so that, you know, we'll be glued in. Well, I post on Instagram and TikTok either every day or every two days. You can go to I am Julie Mango, both Instagram and TikTok, and on Twitter, I am Julie Mango. And I don't post comedy on YouTube. I post about mental health on YouTube, and that's Mentally Mango for YouTube. And yeah. All right, there you have it, guys. And Nathaniel, just just a regular um Nathaniel Pete on LinkedIn, Nathaniel Pete on Twitter, um on Instagram is at Nat Pete N A T P E A T, and uh, you can connect with us on the on the on the internet via um Jamaicans hyphen inspired dot com, um as well as um looking at the Minister of Foreign Affairs and my personal details are there on the. Minister of Foreign Affairs page on the Global Jamaica Diaspora Council. So you can reach out if you need things. You want to do business in Jamaica. You want to establish links to Jamaica. You want to bring Jamaican products down into your region. Eddie, we still need to do that with um yes. with, 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 with Grace and so forth to get those yes. products out into, into those regions. Um, but you know, if you want to do anything like that, then do reach out um to myself as a global Jalisa, Jalisa from Birmingham is asking if there's anything planned for the Commonwealth Games next year. I think they're going to be in Birmingham next year, the Commonwealth Games. That's right. There's things planned for the Commonwealth Games, and um, the, uh, Jamaica is going to be, um, again, having a spot there. Um, and uh, one of Alton Brown, in fact, is going to be doing quite a big initiative around young people in the Commonwealth. Um, yeah. Doing that is another Jamaican um, diasporan, um, and is an athlete, in fact, that is now going to be commissioned over the projects in the Commonwealth. So, again, reach out. Um, there's a lot of big things happening. But, um, again, if you're young, if, if, if you're in um, youth work and want to engage in youth work, then do reach out to us as well via the uh, the safety box, which is um, my other enterprise. Right. So, uh, Jalisa, maybe you can reach out to uh, Jamaicans Inspired as well, and you can become a member. And you don't have to be in the UK to be a member of Jamaicans Inspired. Um, it's quite good because you get discounts when you travel to Jamaica and what of things they offer. So, <laughs> you're my. <laughs> Let me just assess about me not join up yet, you know, so. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, thank you so very much. Jamaica Tourism Task Force has just joined us in great talent and show. Uh, Empress has joined us as well. 
Empress, where's the traffic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hi, um, Empress. <laughs> so uh, JTTF saying, keep up the good work. All right. So uh, thank you guys so very much for um, stopping by. You know, the platform is always open. We promote Grand Jamaica and the Jamaican culture in France, but not just France, because, you know, the internet sphere is all over the, the world. So, thank you, Julie. Thank you, Nathaniel. Thank you. Well, come and do a screenshot, words. guys. Come and do a screenshot quickly. All right, all right ready. All right, cool. Julie, do, all right, I'll do it. All right, ready? Oh, ready? you want to take it? Best oh, side, best oh, side, best oh, side, oh. best side, best side, best side. <laughs> best side time. <laughs> all right, you, got, you guys have your best side ready? Yeah. Okay. Ready? After two, one, two. One more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, the show continues. And by the way, Jalisa, um, we are having a special um, Jamaica come. What the program name? Come and dine with us. Is that come what? Come and dine with us. I see Jolisa putting that there. Yeah. Right. Come dine with us. That's the name of the program. So we're doing a Jamaican version, and yours truly, Jamfet, is doing um, sweet potato ice cream. What a bam bam it shall be. <laughs> so guys, tune in on Sun on Monday, Monday evening. It's a collaboration with Jolisa and two other YouTubers. Nice. And uh, we're going to be having fun on Monday with my sweet potato ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> so um, thank you so much, guys. The party continues with normal people, but I'm going to just say goodbye to Nathaniel and Julie. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks a lot, Eddie. Thank you. Look up yourself. Yeah, man. All right, guys, so that was Nathaniel Pete from Jamaicans Inspired and the Safety Box. And um, Jolisa, just drop the link to your channel so that um, they can connect to you for the, the um, Come Dine With Me program. All right? So uh, we're impressed. <laughs> Job fit now cuts you, but... I see you a cut from over child. <laughs> Thanks, Nathan. Thanks so much. Uh, Empress, it's not cutting from over there, you know, but the truth being told is that um, <laughs> Empress, you two mix. <laughs> you two mix up, Empress. No, no, we're, not, we're good. We're good. But um, the thing is, once you have a platform, you have to do what's good for your platform. You can't just, uh, I mean, supporting is good, guys, but you can't let your platform and support other people's platform, then stop. You have to do videos and you have to do live. And sometimes I don't get a chance to do videos because they have to do book and master work. Have to do book and master work. So um, at times, it just so happened that. Um, you have to emancipate yourself and do what's good for your channel. But in reality, ain't no problem there. But I have to, you know, I'm going to post a video all week this week. And um, I haven't been able to go live because I was just tired. Man, I come, I set the lifetime Wednesday. The drop asleep, the sleep through the lifetime. Thursday, we set the lifetime. Me drop asleep. I woke up just before I was supposed to go live. And listen to me. When me say me tired, me could not reach over to the computer to um to start that live. So I'm saying, you know what? Let me do it Friday. Friday. <laughs> Friday night. Me set the live for Friday. Drop asleep again. And I, when, when I woke up, I missed the go live. So I'm saying, you know what? Let's call it a day for now. So, yeah, that's what happened, but I missed you guys. And um, Jolisa is going to drop the links. And Jolisa, if you're still there, you can drop the link. But you can check out the channel, guys, Jolisa. And I'm going to have um, 
the potato ice cream, sweet potato ice cream. Me not have no whole heap of baking nothing, you know, guys. So you want to see me and try to find the best thing that we can do. So I want to no criticize bad. <laughs> but because I'm not going to criticize my old plastic plate, the man. So, so I had to find some good ones. Some ones with sort of camera rebel to, 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 to put out there. But um, it, it looks nice. The ice cream looks nice. It looks nice. It's the first time I'm trying that potato ice cream. But um, yeah, man. Must have picked there today to blow well, says Empress. Empress, what like you Hi, Stacy. Hope you're well. Farming in the city with Stacy, the sexiest voice on YouTube. <laughs> Big up yourself, Stacey. Empress, the sweet potato ice cream. No, man, it actually came out good in the Empress. Um, I use the white potato. I use the white potato. So basically, it look almost like, what do you call it? Vanilla ice cream. But uh, the white potato, basically, when I talk about the secret, I forgot to come more because it all made it. But it, it, it's quite nice. It's quite well, you know, done yet. Hopefully, tomorrow the finishing um, line. When I get to the finishing line, it will be good. But it's going to be epic, as Jalisa says. It's going to be epic. Why them leaving so quickly? Says em Empress at VIP people. Them, you know, them not going to have no whole of time to spend with me. We have been on for like an hour or so. So, um, Julie, you can check out Julie's skits on her Instagram and YouTube at I am Julie Mango. Very funny, guys. Very, very funny. Royalty in the building saying hello, everyone. Greetings to you, royalty. Big up yourself. Remember to give me the thumbs up, guys, as you come in. Royalty, you sent me a voice note, and no, there was no voice in the voice note, my dear. So it ended up being a note without the voice. See you at <laughs> it's your Empress mix up, though. When I see your Empress mix up, Royalty says thanks for the reminder. Stream elements, bless up, Stacy. You were talking, so me I say, me na cut you, but me hear ya cut tra over there. Oh, me hear ya cut French over there. Oh. Yeah, I was speaking French one at the time, you know. <laughs> I was speaking French one. I'm gonna do some videos with French. Let me try to do some videos with French because um, it could be interesting as content teaching them one and two French words. No, I never know that Jolisa was a content creator. No man, they are a content creator and they are a very nice channel. I enjoy their channel. I enjoy their lives. They're twins, Joe and Lisa. They're twins. And them funny bad. <laughs> they, you know, you have these um, content creators who just put a smile on your faces, like um, Mystic Sensation and her husband and Joe and Lisa. Like, I enjoy those two channels. They are clean channels. No mix up, mix up, and nastiness over there, but it's just clean fun, and I enjoy those two channels. I don't know they have a mystic sensation channel till five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so if you don't want to know why I'm tired, it's mystic sensation. I keep me up at night. But I really do enjoy those two channels. Well, if I did have worked for channel of the year, would I put up those two channels up? Some channel may go, but you know, it's not all that. They're not all that, if we talk truth. Thanks, Empress. So, Jolisa's still here. You're welcome, Jolisa. Jump Fett, you're still a come next month. Remember me, chocolate. <laughs> uh, that's the plan, Empress. That's the plan. But um, me decide, so I'm not really broadcast. So I mean, nobody asks me to carry up for them, because you know, Jamaican people stay. <laughs> they always want to carry dark puss and cow for them. And I don't really like that. So I don't really ask people to do it for me. I don't really want to have people ask me to do it either. Because, you know, in times like these, anything can happen. See, uh, Jolisa said, don't give out the secrets yet. Yeah, I did have to hold my tongue, Jolisa, when we realized I give out the secret. 
I know I would eat a Julie Mangus as royalty. I bought some in France um, this summer, you know, for the first time ever I found Julie Mango here. First set, bye-bye, they were good. Second set, I went to the place, they didn't have any. And then the third set, they never good. Then they sort of rotten. So we don't really get good stuff, guys. So listen, anybody who wants to send us like Jamaican products, there's money to be made from crackers and bun and all these things. There are product, there's a lot of money to be made because we don't get those things. And French people want aki and them want crackers and bun and them stuff. So if I can find the source, if I can source the goods, you know, we can make some money. So, me I got to try that sweet potato ice cream. No, man, it's it, it good. It's good. Me only not have the stylish place to get a nice video, but no, it, it's good. It's good. <laughs> Julie's I said, make sure it tastes good. <laughs> so, I'm going to Birmingham on Monday, guys. I'm going to Birmingham on Monday to Jolisa's house. So, me upset them. Them, them dust out the, the bed and the blanket because you know England weather cool and all these things. So you'll see me in in, in Birmingham, in Birmingham. You no, know, the Birmingham to them have this accent. In Birmingham. Yes, teach me friend, says Stacy. Stacy wants to learn the French, you see? So I'm gonna try to do some French videos, guys. You know, I have a lot of ideas for videos, but then, believe me, sometimes you just get overwhelmed with different things you have to do. And, you know, book a master, work after do so, you know. Interesting, what a hit, and you don't know French. <laughs> They're not going to teach French Empress for the channel. We're going to do some... Um, some some French. Sidani Johnson and family in the house. Greetings, Sidani. Wagwan, how are you? Happy Sabbath, everyone in the chat, says Sidani. Empress and Jalisa, you guys couldn't tell me you guys were content creator. Then Empress, oh, them would I reach over here. <laughs> From day one, man, them are content creators, and it's a really nice, we got forgot a nice couple. <laughs> It's a nice pair of sisters. They're my twin. Men don't know them the, the difference yet, but the voice. When them start talk, me know who is who. But me have to study a little bit more for see uh, if we can tell them apart. Yeah. Do videos and everyone asking me what is the video say. I'm tired of this, says royalty. Royalty is actually French, you know. She says so people are tired of her. Um, Lord of mercy. Me somebody like a post up my link, you know. I'm going to do a backup channel, guys. I'm going to release my new channel. My new backup channel. But I know video name in the panel. <laughs> oh, so I'll video yeah. So I'm gonna release my new backup channel. It's called Focus on France. Focus on France. And the reason I'm doing it is because this channel is not really a vlogging channel, so it's sort of complicated to mix the French and the English and everything on it. So I want to do more Frenchified stuff on my second channel because um, I don't know, me just feel so YouTube, when you do a lot of different, different something on your channel, YouTube start push you out. They don't push you out as, um, they don't push you out as, They don't push it out as you. Hold on, guys. They don't put, like when you do the same type of theme. Like if you're doing cooking and you do a lot of like cooking videos, they push you out. You see, like la, the other day, I was only doing this cult mass, this cult pasta. I was only doing his videos, so the whole other videos then get views. You see, like oh, now I'm gonna switch back and go to my regular stuff. I ain't getting no views. So I, I mean, no, say YouTube guilty. Guilty as charged. And all them people who think they're going to make a million dollars on YouTube, I have another guest coming for me. 
Because as the money start go up, little, as the money start go up, little, YouTube start to sabotage each other. So, Sidonia says she's in traffic. See traffic, the Empress. Hey, from Stacy. Make it screen, excuse, screenshot, you know. <laughs> you know what I sent me the screenshot from the last time? All right, stream elements telling Mystic to remember to give us a thumbs up and share out if you can. Thank you for the share out, guys. I saw it. Jamfrey, I'm back. You're good, says Dali. Well, go on, Dali. We never get to welcome you the first time, but all is well. Dali is having games night later, guys. Dali is having games night later, so we can go over there and try if it. Um, participate and support. All right, Stacy said, hey, Dolly. Decent people like decent people. I'm coming to check you guys out, says Jolisa. All right, so the, all those who are heading over to Jolisa's channel, she's coming back. I'll let me see me there, let me there. I try to focus on France. Um, what do you call it? Um, Moderator status because it doesn't have it. So I try to print the link and I'm going to give uh, Dali moderator status to or Dali have it already. Not allow me. What's going on? So, uh, yeah, Sassy J in the house. I see Sassy J. Greetings to you, Sassy. Long time no see. Sassy, you need to fix your phone. Fix your phone, because <laughs> we haven't spoken in quite a while. So uh, fix your phone. Thank you so much, Dali, for sharing out the live. And Dali saying, like the live stream, guys, and please share out if you can. Uh, Mystic sending some blessings to Sidani. Empress said, I mean, first did ask, you know, so I did, you know, your handbag. I'll come. No, I know that I mean, Empress. I know that I mean, I mean, like people, um, you know when people don't say you yeah, travel, they want to carry house and car and land. In a sense, not, not really far them, you know. Like, they might go give you stuff for carry. Like, they might go give you a radio for carry, and they might go give you a gold necklace for carry and stuff like that. I don't really like that. If you tell me if you catch two chocolate or a piece of patty for you, me can carry. We may not have a problem with that. But I don't really like people um, giving me things to carry. Because I remember, I remember there was this guy, Ambassador's son, and then they gave him some pineapple juice, some tins of pineapple for carry. And it so happened that when they opened the tin of pineapple, them appeared drugs or ganja or something another did in them. So, uh, and it was his friend that gave it to him was a very, very close friend we, we gave me. So I'm just saying that, you know, like if you give me a little phone answer, no problem, but like, I'm not really practice asking people or giving people things. You have to be very careful. Uh, people are very deceptive and evil, and evil people where you help. You know how much drunk from me? <laughs> You know how much John Crow I have helped in my life and then, then turn around and stab me back? John Crow's, yeah. Boy, Patwa just make things sound horrible, though. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, I'm going to pin my second channel, guys. So if you're not feeling like I don't want to support, I don't can support my second channel. It's called Focus on France, and it's going to have more of a Frenchy type of thing. You know? So, uh, no, man, there's a lot of people I've helped, and after a while, they come back and, you know, they actually stab you in the back. Like, even somebody with me, um, just a minute. Like, Somebody would like rescue one time because they never have nowhere to go. And then the ear said the person said, Me not live nowhere. <laughs> because I mean Paris is quite expensive, you know, so the apartments are quite small. 
So you can't, uh, it's very complicated to get a mansion in Paris. So I live in a mattress box in Paris, but it cost me 700 euro. So do the maths. 700 euro times 100 and, 700 euro times 160. That's like 110,000 Jamaican dollars for the month. That's my rent. All right. So uh, I was supposed to put up this lady, right, for the night. And then she had a friend with her. And he was supposed to stay with this other friend. So happened as he might call the friend we're supposed to put him up and the friend is not answering the phone. You know, like when some people owe your money and then for care come and you call them and they can't bring it. So he's calling this friend. The friend now answer the phone, right? It's 12 o'clock. And she has said to me, say, where am I going to do? I mean, I said to her, I said, but you're already bringing come on all. So what is there to do? So in, in, eventually um, this, they give them one second mattress on my arm. So they spend the night and so. I know he must have been a little longer. Can you imagine? Like, seriously. Uh, so Dolly is here. Stacy says, yes, Dolly, thanks. Guys, remember if you're going to France and have nowhere to stay, jump it, yard ready. I, I mean, the way me help out people, Jalisa, at one point people were calling me yard refugee spot. Refugee owls. That's how much me used to just take up any jing bang off of the street. Anybody who have problem, who now have hotel money, whatever, they used to just enter. But I'm going to stop doing that. I'm, I'm not going to do that no more. I can't deal with ungratefulness. You better your lie on tea farming and be ungrateful. Trust me. I'm good too, says Dolly to Stacy. Empress go shake your aki tree and shit me some now, says royalty. I mean, I say, Empress, save me some aki, man. As a matter of fact, um, I got the potato ice cream idea from, what's your name? From Taya. I told you, I must do aki ice cream, and I was like, aki ice cream, what the hell? <laughs> so Taya did the aki ice cream. So me know, because me not really like the way people do, me say, okay, let me do the um, sweet potato ice cream. <laughs> me say, let me do the sweet potato ice cream because I don't want to do what somebody else is doing. So um, that's how I came up with the sweet potato ice cream. So guys, you have to check it out on Monday and check out the whole concept. It's a collaboration with um, Ricky Life 365 uh, with cooking, with bling and family. And of course, the house that we're going to is Jalisa's house. Yes. So on the make sure it's a Monday. Um, it's like seven o'clock French time, which is about one o'clock Jamaican time. Two on it. No, it's about 12 o'clock Jamaican time. No. It's about one o'clock Jamaican time. All right, so tune in, guys. You're gonna see my aki, no, my sweet potato ice cream, and when I go see the molasses chicken and the French fry kebab and all these things, and the pudding and what other things are going on over there. A lot of things are going on. Lol, then we laugh. Johnny said, "Jump up, better sleep on the floor and give me in bed." <laughs> Come on, um, Empress, come. So guys, you can connect to that pin link, please, if you haven't yet done so. I will most eternalistically appreciate it. All right, it's called Focus on France, and it's my second channel, my backup channel. Empress, I've bought three backup channels. And I said, boy, I don't know if this backup channel is something is a good idea, you know, because one channel is already so much stress. And we can go through the same stress when we go through for this channel. That went every minute. If we wake up, check out for that bathroom. The first thing I do, I grab the phone and I look if the subscriber count go up. And if we lose subscriber, it's like it throw me in a depression and I them something. I don't want to go through those things again. I really don't want to go through them something. So one channel is already a lot. Impressive royalty. I wish I could. 
I wish I could. I don't see a Aki tree at town. Yeah. Then you saw a whole heap of Aki tree in a um, pan. Hold on, guys. Let me just get a charger. Then you saw a lot of Aki tree for university, you know, campus. That was the only tree that grew at women see grow at town. And the people there from Augustown used to just come over the fence and tape off the Aki. Oh, we will watch the Aki, you know. We are watch the Aki. Can remember say when we the pan campus, you know, the pool that we are hungry belly picking, you know. And we are watch the Aki, but you know, say so you can't pick Aki when Aki not open. Aki has to open by itself. And you will watch the Aki, and you will see the Aki take time and open. And you will say, okay, we are going to pick the Aki by the next day. Eh! Who are I man them from Augustine from and then just treat themselves to the Aki? We could not get that. No matter how you're watching, you couldn't get the Aki up on your Bless up, guys. Um, ask, I reach the people, go. As I reach the people, go, says royalty. Well, you can watch it again. You can watch it again. Um, I didn't want it to be too long because it was a heavy topic because we were talking about mental health. And you know, topics like those sometimes are a bit, you know, difficult to deal with. But I think we learned certain things. Right, Julie, I am Julie Mango, very popular comedian on the Most Noir. And she was explaining that, you know, she tried to kill herself three times. And people would look and say, Well, this girl is so funny and she does her skits and you know. And yet she said that she was struggling with mental health up to two years ago, like, like this is her best period because she was cutting herself from age eight. Can you imagine cutting yourself from age eight and really not have nobody to talk to? Like, can you imagine the burden on a child that young? It's, it's rough, it's rough. May I go over there, go see if we know them different, says Empress. Yeah, man. Them sort of look slightly different, you know, but every day we forget who is who. <laughs> we have to let start talk. Um, Miss Six says, thanks, Jolisa, for putting that out there. I wanted to go to Venice, but with free accommodation in France, that's where we'll be heading. <laughs> Jump it. Oh, good. We're coming. <laughs> Miss Tick, what well, I have to space for them. Trust me. I have to find space for them. When they're not ready for the European tour. Just come. Why well, stream elements love royalty? Second time stream elements turn the royalty to like up the live. <laughs> Javid, please to pass my blue jacket in small size. Thank you. I think I did. Let me know if it register. Focus on France. Ooh, I can't manage Javid. <laughs> yes, Empress. Focus on France, it is. Like like my friend, like my vlogging outside and the more Frenchy type things. Yeah, that shall be on my second channel, Focus on France. On YouTube, if you don't travel to promote yourself, the thing dead for you. Yeah, I mean, don't you, unless you have a big name. Because like I did a live the other day, guys, and it went up to 400 people. And then I had another one that went up to like 115. And me thought, me, me I think say, yes, man, jam fit, you have a buzz. My God. <laughs> me don't know where the people them gone, them disappear. Like I got like 100 subscribers in one night. But I don't know if it, where them there are where they, I don't know. And like if I put out a video, I'm gonna see them comment and stuff. Like I might see like two or three. So the only conclusion I have is that YouTube don't really push out all of your content to a lot of people. Because like how me monetize now, they realize that uh, they will have to pay out a lot of money. So um, it's just my theory, it? I could be wrong. I'm going to send your jam fit through me no member, says Empress. Thank you, Empress. Thanks, says Dali. I saw that channel focus on France under my videos, and I was wondering, who is that? 
<laughs> Sassy J says, bless host and chat. Greetings, Sassy. How are you, my dear? Fallon says, hey, Sassy. Jolie says, you can swing by my house. I'll come back tomorrow, says, in the life of Dolly. Hi, all thumbs up, please. What is time is games night? Um, that games night is when you um, games night is when Johnny sat join Bungie. <laughs> thanks, Sidney, for coming in. Um, Dolly, please and thanks to put um location on your time, miss, because. It's an international platform, and we've got people from all across the world. Uh, Jalisa, they're in they're in Birmingham, Birmingham. Okay, so eight thirty Jamaican time is what time in Birmingham? Eight and six, how much? Fourteen. So that's about um, no eight and five. Yeah, eight and five. That's like one o'clock. 1.30 in the morning for Jolisa. Then the time they them are draw bungie. And it's the same time for Sassy J. Um, 1.30, 8.30 for you guys. It's 2.30 in the morning for me. 2.30 in the morning for me. So it's really late. But like how I'm not working tomorrow, I might be up late. But yeah. This is our prime time. So Empress is just so it goes. Sure, with their friends, you know, so the trail we are going in at this at prime time, yeah, because, you know, we have it also. <laughs> so Royalty says, I love the vibes over Dolly, especially when it's her daughter or whatever the little girl is there. Yeah, man, Dolly have a buzz. Dolly have a buzz. We're good, Dolly. How are you? We said Dolly had a good discussion on her channel with Marnie Yellow, but when we looked upon the time, it was like five o'clock. And I had to work eight o'clock. And because I was on holidays, my body clock just messed up and I cannot go to sleep. I'll be trying to try to go to sleep, I can't sleep. I may have to jump off of Dolly platform like for sleep because trust me, I don't know, like it's like night time. I can go back like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven o'clock at night. No problem. You see, morning. Oh my God. I have to set like six alarm. Six alarm. I have to set for, uh, for get up a morning time. And I can tell you, it's when I get up for the first alarm. So, guys, I want to thank you for. Our 200,000th view. All right. Um, we have hit 200,000 views. So that's a big achievement, because trust me, we're good, Dolly. How are you? Says Nick Stick. 200,000 views is not bad. That is not bad at all. So um, I'm very happy, very happy about that. So thank you, guys, everyone I know for the support for taking us to 200K views. All right, so Dolly says, I'm good to hear watching the rain. Sassy say, I know it's stressing me out. Come Sassy man, Christmas I come. You need a telephone, my dear. Sassy need a phone, guys. Hi, Sassy J. Carry one a charm, we go. <laughs> hey, Sassy, you're gonna make charm say, why them? Why jump for people then love call up the name? Well, but I can't call up charm name over here because I got say. Them love me name on your platform. Them love call call up me name. Jump fed. Tell the people them to stop calling me up, you know. I mean you know nothing with everybody I call call up me name, so. Make that come on my platform, come call it up. <laughs> Sassy Diva in the house. Dolly is back out in traffic. Thank you, Dolly, so very much. We need to speed up. Um, thanks for the compliments, Jamfet. Glad to know you hold us in such high esteem. 
Really appreciate it, says Mystic. Mystic, I'm not going like your name, no. <laughs> I love Mystic. I love her. And then when her husband now starts to put the ambience, yeah, man. Sassy says, bring a phone for me, jam friend. Sassy, you speak French? You want a French phone? Do you want a French phone? Don't care nothing for nobody, says Jolisa. You hear what I talk about, Joe? You know how much time my friend come from London come over here and if Mr. Tim say, you can't catch two party or catch two crackers, I'm going to say, how are you talk? <laughs> <laughs> last time, last time, not coming up. You said in the Lebush Park, um, black people there, so you can't carry out Jamaica and put nobody over France. So, anybody want it, I should go on Amazon. Where do you find the membership link, um, John Fred? I was trying to pin mine the other night, but was unable to do it. Uh, Dolly, um, you have to go in studio to get your membership link. You have to go to studio and then you're going to go into monetization. Also, yeah, you're going to go to studio, then you're going to go to monetization, then you're going to click on, you're going to scroll down. Because the thing is, you're not going to always see it on the phone. Like some phones you look at, you're not going to see the, the join button. All right. So if you want the link for your membership, you have to go into studio on the computer, all right? Um, I don't think it is on the, I'll check if it's on the phone, but I know definitely on the computer, you go to monetization, you scroll all the way down, and you're going to see membership links, invite viewers to join your channel. You just, and you're gonna see like two squares just beside that on the right hand side. You click the squares on the right hand side and you're gonna see link copied. And then you can um, post that, paste that in your in your chat, all right? So it's membership. So it's, you're gonna go to studio, then monetization. At the top, you're gonna have overview ads, membership and supers. You're going to hit membership. You're going to scroll down to membership links and you'll see the two rectangle or square. You just click on it and it copies the link. All right. So that's the easiest way to find your membership. But some, some phones just don't show your membership link. Like that's the reason I had to set up stream elements because some people are trying to join my membership from Wapi Kill Philip and then cannot find the join button. And then when I look at my phone, sometimes it's there. Sometimes it's not there. And sometimes I look at other people's channel. I remember one time I looked on Zimilian channel, it wasn't showing it on the phone. On the computer it does, but on the phone it doesn't. So, um, I don't know. Some, sometimes it's just so complicated. That's why I'm saying I wonder if it's sabotage because I'm thinking sometimes um, they just try to, um, sabotage you if they see you going out too far. like last week when we're looking at my monetization thing me just say money just a climb a climb a climb a climb and the views were going up this week about two two views and three three views may get in i mean i said no that was i mean how can you be getting like a thousand views last week and this week you're down to like three views like when all of them the subscriber there um, gone, you know, and it, they were real subscribers. So I just think that sometimes the doors and the proof is that you might be, you might notice that you don't get all the um, the notifications. Raymond Bless just became a member. Thank you so much, Raymond Bless TV. Big up yourself. Big up yourself, Raymond. Now that's the mix that. Big up yourself, Raymond. Um, so yeah, like you will notice that you're subscribed to a whole heap of people and you're now seeing you no know, notification. Like you will see, like I can tell you, the only people we get notification from is um, Taya's Kitchen, Carla's Kitchen, 
Um, who else? That's it. And like, well, Mystic, we'll get three notification. But a lot of people, we don't get the notifications again. <laughs> Let me stop troubling the asses, sassy. I don't, you, get, you don't get the notification. And I don't think, it, I just think it's just a question of um, YT restricting your views. Because if you go out there, they might, go, they might go pay out a lot of money. And trust me, YT's objective is not to pay you a new money. Their objective is not to uh, make turn us into a millionaire. You understand? So it's it's a game between us and them as well. Dali, it's always in the description of your videos are live. YT place it there. Really? I first met here the sussy. I think that it's beside it's beside the subscribe button on some channels, but on some phones it don't show. So if it's in the description, that's news to me. Really, me have to go look again, says Dali. You don't know what I at all, but dear Dali, use a different account and look. Jan Fett say, him yard ready. In, hey, me can't bother, you know. <laughs> uh, Dali said, just be careful who you take up. And put, he gone bad already, um, Dali. He gone bad already. Can we take up teeth and put in there? The teeth, teeth for me right inside of the yard. <laughs> I need to do a story time, guys. I need to do a story time about the boy when he come here from teeth. Me check them and so. This boy from some Asian country. Where he come from? Are the Philippines? Me not remember. When me take up in my yard. The boy come at me yard you know, and say, him lost him key and him can't get in an apartment. And how his parents buy apartment because him brother just commit suicide and died because the brother must have have AIDS. And the brother have AIDS and this girl drunk the brother. And the girl drunk the brother and sleep with the brother and get pregnant. So the brother... The girl have the, the, the all of this other story with the guy tell me. So the girl sleep with the guy, get pregnant. When the baby born, the guy take up the baby in her hand and decides say, um, me no know. Same have eight him I got dead, so he run or kill himself. So him now I got take the baby, and the parents buy a house to put him up. So when him, the day when we reach a my apartment and me see him and one next dude out there wait me say what i do ya him say oh um me lock up myself out of the house because remember you know, i had known about the story of him taking him brother baby because you know i'm jumping emotional and all them something so when i heard that i was like oh wow that's a great thing imagine your brother dead and you are gonna take charge of your of the child. That is something admirable. So me then I know and in there said he said if him can't come spend the weekend, him and the friend. And we said, yeah, no problem. Tell them a refugee camp me did I run. So them come in on my house and then the the, the Monday now I expect them to leave the Monday. The Monday uh him say him father no, his, his best friend is in Paris. At the time, I didn't live in Paris. He said, best friend in Paris, I go bring the, um, the key. So the Monday night, we up now and we are wait for the key. We are wait for the key. The best friend. And the thing is, that's why I'm telling you, that them scammers, yeah, them have them things sort out, you know, because all the time somebody is calling him on the phone, you know. So we, you know, I think, say, me and I had a friend, because you know, five are in the apartment, you know, cause, because them come for the weekend, I paid um, child pack and games, and so we are playing, you know? So the Monday night, the friend had come. We are weird, about 11 o'clock in the night, we get a phone call. The friend forget the paper. Just, um, the friend was supposed to open like a restaurant. 
So the friends said, forget the paper of the restaurant and can't come the Monday night. No, I'm gonna come the Tuesday. Tuesday night, the friend I come. Um, when the friend I come, night Tuesday night, we get a call, the friend meet in an accident. <laughs> And people are calling us at the friend meeting an accident. So I said, Lord Jesus, the friend, no, no, me, I said, Lord God, friend in an accident, where we are going? To? So uh, we reach a Tuesday now. So him get a call now from him father, and the father said, Man, I know it's a scam of them people. You know. The father must tell him, say, um, he might go bring the key Friday because the friend in a hospital and blah, blah, blah. Brethren and friends, I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> you get scam out, scam right out. Z Million is in the house. Greetings, Z Million. Empress said, would I have to check out the country, John Fett? Going country next month, live spear, says Empress. So if you get some Aki, you need to get a country, though. No. But we don't even know what season is Aki season. John Fett, I already connect with Focus on France just now. Thank you, Empress. Sassy D1, connect with my pin link, please. It's my um, backup channel. It's my um, backup channel because we decide to separate. As this is Z million, Z million, as Z million, I always tell myself to clean up the channel and separate it into, you know, playlists and stuff. So, what I've done, I'm going to put all the French vlogs and the French stuff over upon the French channel. And the Jamaican stuff will keep on the Jamfet channel. That way it will look a little bit better for the YouTube algorithm. Lord, I, it's stressing for real. Others are ninjas, but I have two channels the family channel, which is the BCD family channel, and this one says Empress. It's stressful. So if you take up a second channel, it's a whole heap of work. Whole heap of work. But I was thinking, so you know. I'm going to let Jam Fit like grow, and then when it reach a point, then we can probably ask people to go over to the second channel. But I do not plan to do the same whole heap of stressful thing. Even this channel has stressed me out too much. And sometimes I can't bother. Sometimes I'm tired. I say, I can't bother go live and them stuff. But then if you don't go live, you realize so the channel get run right down, and you don't get no visibility whatsoever. If you don't post a video or if you don't go live and interact with your um, subscribers, trust me, when you try to go live again, you will not see nobody. Like you will have up to like 25 people on a live consistently or 20 people or 18 people consistently. But if you take a break, if you take a two week or a three weeks break, remember me tell you, so when you come back to do that live, you ain't getting to 10. You know, get, it's going to be a struggle. Or if you do get to 10, you're going to have to probably wait until the second or the third hour because they are not going to be sending you out. That's why you two, a lot of the things that they say that we should read, it's about consistency. If you're not consistent, you two is not going to push out your channel. If you're not cons what consistency mean? You have to put out three, four, five, six videos a week. That is the channel. And when you when you put out the whole heap of video, then me just I get views, get views, get views. Since me start push out videos last I when me not push out no video at all this week. The channel gone back to square one. <laughs> so you know, um, watch the Aki. The Empress said, watch the Aki. And when you look, somebody pick it before you. <laughs> yeah, that you see one on UE. And trust me, when we are UE, you know, oh my God, poverty is a terrible thing. When we are UE, you know, and we depend on campus, we don't have no money. Enough time, you know what we have to do? We have one KFC glass, what you call it, cup. Then you used to give it the Pepsi cup. And trust me, that the Pepsi cup, you know, say so they're going to put a KFC on campus. But once you have the cup, you can um, refill your soda. So enough time, we don't have nothing for it. All we have is just this Pepsi, we have got KFC, and we just have filled with Pepsi, filled with Pepsi, filled with Pepsi. And that was it. On campus, when it, I had my grip. 
me did have one grip, right? And at that, me have to put my food in my hand and padlock it and push it under my bed. Because the whole way up there struggle. And if anybody knows that you have two things that can't be, I want mackerel in a, your house. You have to give them. Because I'm going to tell you about brotherhood and brotherhood and this and that. And they come like a, some Freemasonry city. Yeah, brotherhood, brotherhood. So after a while, when we realized I'm an idiot because you know, like the people and stuff, I'm going to say, but hold on. When me hungry, me want something, nobody not give me nothing. So I have to make sure I'm so an So what me do? When I go country, I'm going to get my grocery. I put out, me put out like two tin of mackerel on the shelf, that's like the, the, the charity macro. So if me, somebody are beg me, I can't give them there. But most of my grocery was under my bed. Most of my grocery was under my bed. I will never forget my mother give me one chicken. The chicken was, you know, country chicken, big. Cause you are grow the chicken yourself. And she gave me the biggest fowl in the coma. Right, and me never know at the time. Say, <laughs> I pay a nigga the pan hard. I'ma put my chicken in the, 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 the freezer on campus, and God know I did not even see a bone off of that chicken. Not even a bone, me not see. We pick up aki before it open and leave it to open. That's why my grandmother do not do still to, no impress. Then that nigga pies you. You can't pick, me always hear so you cannot pick a key before it open by itself. So oh you should pick the aki before it open. No. We don't do it so in Manchester. Sassy J didn't see you boo. Although Sassy J need a beating, you know, because you know she got live or anything like that. So Sassy J. Guys, earlier we had um Julie Mango who was here. And uh, we had Nathaniel Pete. So if you missed that part, when the live done, then you can check it out. And it was very interesting because they were talking about mental health. Uh, Julie was making the point that she made three suicidal attempts. And during that movie, she jumped in her car and she spread on that. Yes. All right. So it was very, very interesting. So you can um, check it out. Uh, <laughs> Royalty, you're the only one strong element from this you know. <laughs> Jump it with the labor right battle. You hear when say Empress from the womb to the tomb. Remember when PJ did come and me, I tell my father, I said, you know, said, me like PJ, PJ, a black man and whatever. Daddy say, you're going to like PJ, but not under my roof. <laughs> not under my roof. So um, at the end of the day, we start a tribalist, but I'm not really a tribalist because if me say, like when the JLP man did take the chair and lick the woman, like that's just unacceptable. There's no excuse you can make for that the man. And you know, you have PNP will fix one part to all and the JLP somebody ever say, the whole no fix go there. <laughs> and I'm not talking about Porsches. Uh, well, no fix good or whatever. And the same thing, I go go on from the other side. So I just saw it go. But um, the try to not be a tribalist. But um, because you're born in a one side, you just continue the tradition. But who tie you on that water says <laughs> royalty? Did you put tags on your video, Jamfet? I did, Empress, I did. 8.30 p.m. is the game's night, Jam Fed. That is game's morning for me. You're two hours ahead of us now, Jam Fed. Oh, really? I thought you guys change as well, Sassy. I know GNT doesn't change, but I just assume that you guys change. All right, so um, the British then must have stopped the daylight. They want to stop this daylight saving thing. No, 4 o'clock is night in France. So I just saw it go. Sassy me not see it later, you yeah, have to come tell me how to do it. Then how me spend time and tell Dali where to find you and Dali still make Sassy tell her foolishness. Listen to me, Dali. Take my instructions, please. Tanisha says you're welcome, Eddie. Tanisha, good to see you, my dear. 
When I'm home, I call, you know. Tanisha is in France, guys. Tanisha is in France. Stacy is dead in with laugh. Royals are dead with laugh as well. Guys, we're setting up for some serious cooking videos tomorrow, so we have to jump off. Please do check out the come down with me. Jamaican style link up on Monday. Guys, Monday jam fed in at the kitchen, and I am doing a um sweet potato ice cream. When we say sweet potato ice cream, all them people that who think say jam fed cannot cook or bake. Because we need a little put up with us sweet potato pudding. Watch me with the sweet potato ice cream. Watch me, it'll go bad. It'll go bad, guys. Raymond Blast TV just became a member of Jam Fet Members Club. So we have to big up Raymond Blast Television. We have to big up Raymond. Thank you so very much. And um, most people here probably have Raymond, but we have to send over everybody to go support the blessed one. Very talented. Um, very talented uh, individual, Raymond. You can check out the music and all these things. Raymond Bless TV. Stream Elements, so he just became a sponsor. I'm a sponsor in your Stream Element, a member. Where you get sponsored from? <laughs> welcome to the membership, Raymond. Thanks for joining. So, Mystic, welcoming Raymond. Mystic, Mystic is also a member, guys. Shanta, Shanta, Shanta. Morgan is in the house saying, Hey, John Fett, greetings to you, Miss Shant Morgan. Bless up, bless up. Raymond, getting love from Sassy J. And Raymond, my phone mash up. So just in case you send me a message, says Sassy. We miss you, Sassy. We miss you, man. Zimillion, long time in us, Zimillion. Saying good evening, everyone. Hey, Jam Fett. Greetings to you, Zimillionaires. Oh, Zimillion want pin up in them, I'm not forget. She won a pin up on my channel one night. I'm not here yet. So, yes, Z Millionaires TV in London as well. Z Million in London, Jolisa in Birmingham, Sassy J in London. We're international, Ricardo in this digital factory in Jamaica. <laughs> Ricardo, internet is like the fastest internet in the world. Ricardo saying, Empress, my friend. Empress getting love from Z Million. Raymond says, do you, Z, you do see me all? You did see me all, oh, yes, and Adam and Hart. Oh, Raymond says, she see how Z Million has seen Adam and Hart. I uh, owe email and send art to know. She did send me two, you know. <laughs> oh my God, Ricardo getting love from Sydney. And you may send them to Ray. I hit my sick. I want me to look back and see him get them. <laughs> Sydney said, Happy Sabbath, Raymond. Zimmel, you can't have two men for the Sabbath, you know, you have to choose one. Two weeks, I haven't done anything. Trust me, Z. When you take a two-week break, it's like when you come back, it's like you're starting all over. Trust me. It's like you're starting all over when you come back because YT just stop pushing. What they reward is consistency. Consistency. So, like, for example, consistency is the person who go put out a video at the same time every day. You know, so they might go push you out. Or... You do your live at the same time, or you frequently upload videos. That's what YT you like, because they want you to feed them platform. Because at the end of the day, is we are doing the work, you know. We are doing the work for people to advertise on YT. They need us to send out. Um, they need us to send out the content. Raymond, are you at work? Says Z Million. Yes, he is Z Million. Saying yes, the mystic also sending some love. Mike Ware is here saying soon get the products you Eddie. Big up yourself, Mr. Ware. Mike Ware in Jamaica. Yeah, man. I was Mike, I was talking about that earlier, saying that we really need products. We need Jamaican products. 
You know, enough time we have gas over here and we don't have two cacas with bust the gas. You see what I'm saying, my brother? So we need those Jamaican products, right? Christmas I come with one, look a browning and look a um, bread label wine for putting out a cake, you know? Sometimes we have to, <laughs> when you have a bake or a cake, you know, I was trying to bake a fruit cake the other day. And when I said I have no red label wine, I mean, I have no rum. And the whiskey, me take up and I look, you know, and I say, I oh, wonder well, if we can throw the whiskey in the cake. But I didn't. But I was tempted because I'm like, I don't have nothing to throw in the cake. I mean, I have no rum, I have no wine. So we do need them. And it's Christmas, right? So um, the people in London, they get them. But like, we are struggling. So Mike is saying, I export products straight from Jamaica, whatever they need. All right, so let hear that, guys. Mike will get the products to you. Jillian Smith in the house. Greetings to you, Jillian. Welcome, welcome to Jamfet Live on a Saturday. We're just chilling. We had Julie Mango earlier, and now we're just um, chilling. Empress, who does that, says Ricardo. Raymond says, no, it's not doing you nothing, says uh, Raymond. Um, what do I mean by it not doing enough? Oh, Zimilan says she's not doing anything. It's difficult to keep up the consistency, you know? So I said, I'm focusing more on videos, Jamfet, as opposed to live. That is true. Zimilan said, Jamfet, I need the info on the restream thing. So restream is actually good because it's just like StreamYard. But it's cheaper than StreamYard, and it's actually um, they allow you to restream to more than one platform. Um, I know StreamYard does, but StreamYard has about six. Restream Restream has about thirty different platforms that you can stream to. Uh, Instagram is not one of them. I, I don't know why, but it seems like streaming to Instagram is more difficult. But um, Zimilen, it's almost 10 o'clock. It's two minutes to 10 now, two minutes to 10 p.m. So, but Restream can go to LinkedIn, you can stream to Facebook page, you can stream to your Facebook, um, what do you call it? Facebook profile. Because, I mean, some people still go on Facebook. Uh, when I go into my um studio. My analytics, it's telling me that most of my viewers come from Facebook, which is quite interesting because now it's because of the Facebook people, they might say they're not support and they're not, <laughs> well, so they're not come over and they're not, you know, they just stay on Facebook. But actually, um, most of my supporters are coming over from Facebook. That, that's what they're saying. So I guess when somebody catch your link and repost it and somebody else click on it, then it, um, you know, gets you out there. Bad breed, Dolly says Raymond, bless. So Raymond, you hit your 500 yet? Ricardo saying, ooh. I will record that ooh, but is he ooh in my sweet potato ice cream? Ricardo, it looks really good. And I got the idea from Taya's Kitchen, because Taya's Kitchen did Aki ice cream. And when she did the ice cream, I said, oh, that come out nice, man. So I'm going to try the sweet potato ice cream. The only thing, I never use the red sweet potato. I use the white one. You know, the white one is better to do in, like, baking and those stuff. Like, if you're doing your potato pudding, it's best to use the white one as opposed to the red one. Right? They have a red one and they have a pinkish one in France, yeah? But the white one, and it come out just looking like a vanilla. So it's actually quite good, huh? Raymond Bless in the building. I don't work at Digital. <laughs> Says Ricardo. Ricardo, your internet is too fast. Shante Morgan has subscribed. So thank you so much, Shant. Uh, stream element saying that's another subscriber. Thank you very much for that. And of course, Raymond Bless is our 
uh, newest member, guys, the newest member to the Jamfit Members Club, Raymond Bless. So uh, Jillian Smith is here. Jillian says you can use Sherry. I want to name Sherry again. I want to name Sherry again. Oh my God, I have a brain in France. It's a hole in the brain. But I have a, I lose my English, you know. <laughs> I lose my English. What is Sherry again, Julian? Let's remind me, please. Shanti saying thanks. Julian, hello from Mystic Sensation. All right, don't listen to those stream elements. If stream elements give on uh, problems, guys. It's just so stream elements like to give problems. Right? Julian reminding us to thumbs up the live. Yeah, man, I was saying that people can be very ungrateful, um, you know, and because of that, I never feel like I want to help up no more people no more, you know. I don't feel like I want to, you know, because I realize that people don't really appreciate it. It's better somebody to lie on you or tea from you than so ungrateful, so that you know, than be un, ungrate, ungrateful. I'm struggling tonight. Yeah. Oh, it's fortified wine, says Julian. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Mishnah, to be honest with you, me in France, and France, then say France drink much billion bottle of wine per year. And you know, I don't have one bottle of wine in France. I guess because I'm not really a drinker. I'm not really a drinker. I'm not really drink as such. So I'm not really have no whole heap of wine like that put on. But like, red, they have some really nice red wine that would be good for like cooking and baking and stuff. Z million is the, um, Z million is the, um, expert at baking. And said, so Mishibu are coming at the house, yeah? I wonder if Mishibu know about the potato ice cream. Mishibu said, thumbs up, done. Mystic says, well, Jamfe, if you manage to make potato pudding from scratch, you're good. If it doesn't come in a box with just a few ingredients to add it up, <laughs> now nah, go get done. Mystic, listen, the potato pudding that I baked, it came out like soup. I don't know what go wrong, but the side was burning up, the top was burning up, the bottom was burning up. So I just assume say, the pudding did set. But no matter how long I keep it in the oven, that pudding just pecker, 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 pecker. It come like a soup, man. Me don't know what me not do with the but then somebody said it's because I use the wrong potato because to be honest with you, me never know. <laughs> Mia Williams in the house. Mia, big up yourself. Michelin blessing, says Mystic. Me never know. Do you have restream, says Zimilia? I have it. I haven't yet paid Zimilia, but I have it. I have it. And what I noticed is that when I finish my live on YouTube, I only did like a minute, you know. I was just testing it. But when I finished the live, I realized that it had posted it on Facebook as well. So, me never know said potato have different, different type of potato. Because as far as me concerned, when we did at Jamaica, every potato did red or orange. So, me, you just got to take a potato. Great, as a matter of fact, I'm not even the greater of the potato. I'm going to blend the potato which is probably where I went wrong as well. Blend up the potato. I didn't even put a lot of water in it. Put the potato in the something. You never know, say, me for greater yam, because this is what people telling me after. So me should have the greater yam and put in the potato. Or me should have the chokan meal in there. All these things, I never know. Me just send a few potato pudding. Me don't know how potato pudding making up. Me just feed for potato pudding and say, all right, 
Yes, me also like potato pudding as a child. So let me just go do one potato pudding. No one no, nothing about potato. So it came out. The edge was very good. The butter was good. So inside of the mega, it come out good. But I had to eat it with a spoon, yeah, man. So I know I did something wrong. Mia in the house. Good to see you, Mia. Hope you're doing well. Mia is dead in. So, Ricardo is dead in as well. <laughs> yeah, man, Zimila, it's the exact same thing as Shumia. It's just cheaper. But it's the same thing. So, just try it. I think it's restream that. It's not that comma or anything like that. It's that something or not. I don't remember. Like that R O R. Let me check. Restream.io, Restream.io, exact same principle as Streamer, yeah? and um, but it's cheaper. You have the banner, you have everything, just like Streamer. Yeah? So that's what happened with my potato pudding. Now when me try to make the Christmas cake now, right? Me gonna make Christmas cake and the cake come out nice. The cake come out good. Very good. But as I'm telling them, I don't know nothing about baking. So, now, when the cake come out, and may I eat the cake, the cake is good enough. I was actually very proud of myself because the fruit cake came out so good. But when I eat the fruit cake, I realized I said something wrong. I realized... <laughs> Realize there's something tough, like some little toffee, toffee, something in there. So I am like, hold on, what is this? So me carry the cake now, go give me a colleague, you know, British people, them and not, and then so them want Jamaican cake, and me say me have a cake, and they want it. So me carry the cake, go give the people there, and them eat the cake, and then me see them bite from this tough thing in the cake. And the woman and buy it and and say, oh, um, there's something in the cake and whatever. But because it had come up every minute, she now said to me, say, maybe it's the sugar. And the sugar in the cake, we must lump up. We never mix up the sugar properly. And the sugar lump up and cause them something. Me never know say prune I've seen. <laughs> I have a a prune of seed and I blend up the prune seed in the cake. As somebody else now, when I talk about my cake, them say, no, sir, sugar can't do that. Come here, tell everybody now, say, the sugar lump up in the cake and the sugar tough. And them I say, no, sir, sugar can't do that. Maybe I the seed and the prune. Me say, what do you mean by seed and the prune? So the person said to me, say, you never take out the seed. He said, but me never know says prune of seed. <laughs> you never know says prune of seed. Me just go to the supermarket and buy them prune, yeah, and chew it in the rum and the wine. So, listen, them will if seed, they blend up, and trust me, it was popping out the teeth, but this woman now would eat the whole of the prune seed, them. I swallow the prune seed and think it's a sugar, and I tell me it's sugar. <laughs> oh my God, forgive me. I know not what i done. So, Ricardo says sweet potato and Irish potato alone, you know. Yes, Ricardo. But, Ricardo, the sweet potato have different type of sweet potato. There is the there, I must say three different type of sweet potato. Them have. them have the orange one, them have the pinkish one, and them have the white one. And if you're doing the potato pudding, you have to use the white one, but maybe use the orange one. Although seems similar, then you can ask her which one for you. Somebody said the white one for you. I'm going to use the orange one, and it just never come out. Yeah, I think cornmeal goes in it. I think it helps to thicken it. My mother used to make it, and if memory serves me right, cornmeal was added. Mystic, uh, Mystic 
I mean, no, so when potato pudding used to go on first time, I remember so we used to have the, uh, the only thing I remember is begging my mother for some of the butter. We make food only for one, that's all. I don't remember what going there. I don't remember the recipe. I don't remember nothing like that. Thank God for you too. And the cooking channels, then we start, you know, we give with two recipes and stuff. Mishi Boo in the house saying, host, I'm watching. Stream live app, app because I downloaded it. I see you can go live on it. Yeah, Stream Lab. My understanding is that Stream Lab is very complicated. It can do a lot of things, but Stream Lab is very complicated. So um, I think the simplest one to use is StreamYard. And then Restream, which is similar to StreamYard. But StreamYard, StreamLab can do all of them. Then. Monica Mars, walking purpose with Monica Mars. Michelin said, I'm just waking up. <laughs> Monica Mars, what is going on? I don't see you no more. I don't see your chat. Are you, did you take a break? Because I went in there and said to Charm, said, I love Prime Minister Monica Mars. I saw you on Alpha Live. Let you on the day before yesterday. Must be Tara or somebody. But I was like, whoa. I like Prime Minister Monica, you know. Miss Monica, how are you? Monica said, oh, what is your jam fit? <laughs> Royalty, I use Streamlab. I use Streamlab as well. It's my backup when my hours are low on StreamYard. It's just as good. That's what uh, Mystic is saying. Uh, I use Stream Elements because everybody uses Nightbot. And me no know. Me have the sickness where me always no one try to do what everybody else I do. So because everybody use Nightbot, I'm like, let me find something else. And that's the only reason why I'm using Stream Elements. But Stream Elements is more complicated to program. It can do a lot of things. It can do a lot of things. But it takes a long time to remember one, the first night we used it. One piece of rock, Sean, Stream Elements, one with in the chat. <laughs> one piece of rock, Sean, I spamming and so I mean, I said, no, so they said, no, 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 Stream Elements, you cannot do this. So. I had to go back and fix certain things. So it's still not perfect, but, uh, you know, I'm using it for now. I mean, things say it sound better than Nightbot. For the first time I go up on the channel and say Nightbot, I thought it was a spam. Mishi healing everybody. Blessings, Miss Monica says, Miss Dick. Here comes Kishan Empire saying, I am here. Greetings to you, Kishan. Hope you're doing well. Bless up yourself. Welcome. Z million uh, up, up, up. That's what keep me, the blessings of God. Thanks for it, says Walking Purpose. Amen, Walking Purpose. Amen. We got two hours and me a yarn already. I'm going to put on a pot of soup in you know, a don't cook it. You want to know what type of soup it is? Pea soup with corn pork. I find a piece of corn pork in you know, the arm. Um, sorry to the people that may observe Sabbath. I found a piece of corn pork in the supermarket. And I took it and I put it in you know, the pot so it is cooking. Corn pork with Peas and vegetable. I eat a lot of vegetable because, you know, doctor said that's what I eat. So, blessings to you, Kishan, from Walking Purpose and from Miss Dick, Miss Miles, getting greetings from Z Million. Bless up on a cell. No, I'm on a break. I see you over Mystic. Yeah, it was Mystic Live. I saw you, Miss Monica. And I'm saying, where is Miss Monica? 
Well, Miss Monica saying I'm on a break. I guess all of us, it has happened to a lot of us. We um after we get monetized, we just lose the fire. We lose the um, you know, we lose a bit of the fire because trust me, it took out so much energy out of with it to get to the monetization. That's we just go through a sort of I call it YouTube YouTube itis, which is like nigger itis. Well, you just know what you know more about YouTube for a while. So I, I went through that as well. But um you realize that, you know, you come too far now to turn back, right? You can you monetize now. So now is not the time to give up. You know, you need to post a video. And the video doesn't have to be long. It can be a one-minute video. It can be a short. If you post a short, you are gonna get a lot of views. And it's going to keep your channel active. Um, if you can do a one-minute video, men or no, spit out that one, make it dry, and what video with our uh, video, just the, the town building them or the supermarket. I don't know. Just put out a video, even if it's a small video, because it does a lot for your channel. It's so much better than just parking your channel. Like when you, Miss Monica, you can do a Bible verse for the day. You know, you can do a daily bread. What is the daily bread saying today? You know, given that that's the aim and purpose of your channel. Just do a Bible verse for the day. Today's Bible reading is taken from today's verse. You see a little one exaltation on it, and it keeps your channel alive. You know, but we have come too far, ladies and gentlemen. We come too far for leave with channel no and it's the same for me you know because sometimes i'll five six seven days are past i may not do no live or may not do no video and i know it's not good for my channel kishan has subscribed to us thank you so very much kishan uh please hit that um link as well guys the pin link which is the backup channel which will be more focusing on the french side of things but that's us as well Jamfet, I have to check my thing. I'm not seeing you neither, Jamfet. We don't live. We don't live so. Says um, says Monica. That's what I'm saying. And the thing is, after a while, you're not going to see the notifications, as I was saying earlier. After a while, you ain't going to see the notifications. So if somebody not coming on your spirit like all um what's your name makes a jam last week i was thinking and i'm like where's makes a jam a long time i'm not a jam go on makes a jam's channel you know the last time she posted something was like a month ago and my understand uh, you know sometimes it's just complicated for keep up the channel and you know so um, I'm putting the link down, guys. If anybody want to come up on the platform, come reason with me. Feel free to come up, right? Um, when I live so for true, Miss Monica, I, you know, other times I would know what I want to call two people, but then my time difference, my time difference is of such where when I wake up, I do sleep, you know? When I'm finished work, me just have one intention and that is to hit my bed. That is it. Like, trust me, when I have no time for myself, calling Foster in the house saying blessings, blessings, and more blessings, everyone. Can't get too much blessings, darling. Trust me. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Please remember to give us a thumbs up. Ricardo said, no pork around here. Why recall them? We don't know enough. That's a one commandment we have struggle with. <laughs> That's why I come out and I struggle with them. We got New York. My sister tell me, say, oh, my sister is not Adventist. You know? She said, God tell herself, we love it pork. No, God tell herself, she love it is pork. I said to you, say, really? She said, yes, God revealed to her, so she love it is pork. When I said, I'm going to get the, the revelation there. Pork is just. 
Mo it put four, five, six times a week. Can you imagine? Blessings from Mystic. Janfet, what you all cook the food with the big corn in it? Um, I think it's soup you're talking. It could be any soup. Could be manish water. Maybe a manish water yet. Kishan, I messaged you on Instagram, says Ricardo. Kishan is here, guys. Feel free to connect with those channels you do not have. Thanks for the blessings, Monica saying to Carleen. Hey, Miss Monica from Farming in the City with Stacy. Hi, Stacy Hunt from Zim Millionaires. Mystic says, Ricardo, what you talking about? Trent and meat, nice, bad, especially a piece off of the back, leg or shoulder. I tie my tie, you tie my tie, Mystic. Now we're talking. The Trent and, <laughs> the Trent and bad, the Trent and bad. I'm not telling a lie, it's really good. Especially, and um, I'm not that loud, you know. Ricardo, I'm not that loud. But you see, all when that the trend and the touch a little bit. I <laughs> know if only used to have pork a country. And sometimes when you open the pork, the hag head, when your mother can't hag head, and when you open the hag head, and when you see the maggot in it. You think, say, we are going to show that the hag head there? We wash out the maggot. Ma <laughs> We wash out the maggots, right? With some lime and some vinegar and soap that they are getting there, cookie. And let me tell you something. No fresh pork not come close. Yeah, yeah right? Listen, man. <laughs> I don't know that that in a today day time and age, but trust me. Back in the day, I when hunger lick you, and you get that the piece of... And when, you know, say like your mother, we cook like gongo soup and so. And me not really eat gongo. I'm dashing and yeah. But because me no want to eat off the pork now, me did the go on. Because <laughs> I have to save the pork. For the last thing, you can't eat off the whole of your pork in the first part of the soup business. No, you have to save it. Trust me. It's good. When you monetize the work, just start, says Monica, man. Listen, I want to just, I would love to be able to put out like five videos a week. Trust me. But me just not have the time, nor the motivation, nor the effort, nor the drive, you know? But I know that it's important if you want to, you know, see the difference at the end of the month, or even if you want your channel to constantly be be out there, you know. You all want to see a street vlog where I show my town. That's what uh, royalty is asking. Royalty, I think you know what. I think automatically when you're outside, it just upgrades your videos. If you compare the videos that people do outside to the ones that they do inside. Especially if you have an apartment like mine, we're boring and you can't show every part of the apartment because you might have one piece of the door broke off or one spot up on the wall. So you have to try show the part where you can't show. You understand me? You better <laughs> you go out the door and do your live. And, um, you know, when I have a mansion like a miss, when I stick a bit like a month ago, you don't listen or so. We have to catch one part of the apartment where the curtain not look too dirty or the wall not look too stainy. And, you know. <laughs> but I would love to see a street vlog uh, royalty. Definitely. Those would be good. Monica says, thanks, John Fett. It makes a lot of sense. You have a good mind for others, says Monica. Trying, Miss Monica, trying. Because trust me, sometimes you meet some nasty nigga will change and want to try to change your mind, you know, and make you tough towards people and no one help people and gain and stuff. But, you know, we try to do what is right. A lot of people see the notification while others don't. We all need each other. True, true, Miss Monica, we do. I don't know what's 
I don't know. I guess, I guess that if you follow a lot of people, then probably you just start getting a lot of notifications. Like if you follow 20, 50 people, you might see the notification, but most of us content creators, we are follow like a thousand, two thousand people. So I guess after a while, we're not seeing the notification. So maybe that's it. No, no, stop it, Pork says Ricardo. <laughs> Ricardo, when are you starting your channel? That's what you need to tell me, Ricardo. Don't stop bash Pork. When you start your channel? Teflon Dan in the house, guys. Teflon, the big Dan, he's here. Saying blessings to everyone. And Teflon is declaring it. I love pork. So there you go. It is the Sabbath where we're talking about the pork. <laughs> blessings to you, Teflon, from farming in the city with Stacy. No jumping. Fire up on the Trenta, says Ricardo. I mean, if you think about it, pork is that. Nasty meat, you know, but got it nice. <laughs> Trent and meat, what is that, says uh, royalty. Royalty, it's another word for pork. It's another word for pork. In Jamaica, we say Trenta. It's another word for pork. Just like mackerel, them said dirty girl for mackerel. Trent and for pork. Um, what else we have? Yeah. Mishibu, same blessing, Stefan, but up the trend on. <laughs> when it touch, says Stefan. Me not, listen, one thing you know, me not tell you no lie. I am not going to pretend and tell you no lie. I love the trend on pork when it touch. All right? And he used to have some little white something when move up in it will look like maggot <laughs> a minute or so in a time there you can't just dash it away teflon said him not eat that ricardo says no way stacy says <laughs> stacy have vomit <laughs> these are all the people that will have little money now i want to get rich and only don't remember the good old days but I remember the good old days. Sometimes, no matter, because fly always get down in there and fly, young fly is maggots. Or, what we call it? Maggot. Maggage. <laughs> Just as I love the poor, but not the maggot. Can't get the maggot in there. Ricardo is disgusting. Ricardo said, you know, so you have to stop it. <laughs> Where's Susan kids there? Susan. We Colleen, Colleen, let me call Colleen if she come up on the platform because we don't know she Colleen. Eh? More else, if I mean one, you used to eat pork. When you clean that up with some vinegar and um, lime, when you clean it up with vinegar and lime, Colleen, where you had to sleep? Colleen, I sleep, guys. She, she now nah, come up on the platform. I think you come up on the platform, but you sound like you. All right, go on your bed. Uh, <laughs> Call in a draw bungy. All right, so Mystica come through, you know. Mystic say hallelujah, jam fed, especially when they put it in the bucket with pimenta, seed, and leaf, and everything else. One nice. Then that may I tell them? One nice. And sometimes one fly will get in there and do a mess in there, but. When you clean that up with um with vinegar and lime and you boil it first, you soak it and then you boil it and it's still salt so you have to boil it a second time. Ah those were the days. Oh god. I miss my country. Mr. B and don't follow job first says record. Okay, I will try out something. Outside, yes, try something outside. Um, royalty, Rasta on your pork. <laughs> I, I want to tell you when I went to New York, um, the man who was selling pork was a Rasta man, 
and the pork was very good. But me I look for him good enough and I said, is this really a restaurant? <laughs> but I guess in no set I got attract people. We seeing this restaurant and jerking pork, it's going to attract people. And it did attract me, and trust me. Anytime you go back to my sister, then we're going to check that restaurant whether the pork. Blessings to everyone in the chat from Mr. Green Nation vlog. Green Nation, big up yourself. Welcome. I saw you live this morning, but I just couldn't comment a lot because I was just busy doing my sweet potato ice cream. So, guys, on Monday, I wanted to check out my video, my sweet potato ice cream video. It's a collaboration video, Come Down Me, Jamaican style, with Jolisa. And I prepared sweet potato ice cream. I'm going to put the pork in there, Ricardo, so you can eat that. No, sir. I'm not cut off for the YouTube thing. I watch and support as much as I can. Well, you support a lot, so when you're ready, you're going to monetize. You know, you don't have to show your face, you know, cool willows. You don't have to show your face. You just need to come with a concept where you're comfortable with, you know. I mean, we never really want to do it, but I guess after a while, you know. Green Nation in the building, Life with Susan and Kids in the building saying good night, guys. Greetings to you, Susan. Bless up from uh, Royalty Lifestyles, Life with Royalty. So, Royalty, we want to see that um, those outside videos. Teflon says, Life with Susan and Kids, what's up? From the boss, Stefan Dan. Pork is not good, says Royalty. So I think um, I think it's 50-50. Half, half I only like the pork and half don't like the pork. I wonder what Susan and kids have said about that. Royalty big up. Ricardo, blessings. Susan getting some love as well. Uh, Teflon getting love from Susan and kids. All right, so uh, I love all your vibes, Susan. All right, so Susan, um, Royal to say she like your vibes. I mean, if you check out Susan, you know, I, I saw the channel when last week, it was quite nice. Blessings to Green Nation, thanks, royalties from Susan. <laughs> jump it, you need to do a jump it slang live, okay, to break down all the little words there, Maga Boy and John Cross. <laughs> it's not John no, it's John it's John Crow. John Crow. But in part where we said John Crow. John Crow. John Crow. <laughs> and some people are that, you know, they have they can fly royalty. Suzanne, you miss out this morning over my house, says Green Nation. Ricardo, up, up, up. I'm in now, says Susan. So, Susan, it turned out in a port discussion over here. Half a rasta, half a. <laughs> Ricardo says, Susan is a fashion rasta. Uh -uh. I saw Ricardo go on. Susan says, hush on. I will go and check. Mystic saying hello to Susan. You was giving away credit again, Susan. Um, yeah, he was giving away credit this morning. And Mystic gave away last night. Miss, me don't know what happened. I am so mad. Me don't, me take out all iPad. <laughs> because said, no, the phone slow, the computer slow. And me take out the iPad, but the iPad was just... They never have no battery. So we couldn't. Come here, I said, there is no way somebody's internet can fast so like Ricardo internet. Like, there is no way. Me refresh about 20 times, and Ricardo still faster than me. Me upset, man. Jump fit, I hope you prepare a porridge of Jamaica on Monday. No royalty, it's ice cream that I prepared sweet potato ice cream. So um, it's in the fridge, you know, a circle. 
So I forgot to do the second part of the video, but it's gonna be on Monday at one o'clock. Yes, Monday at one o'clock Jamaica time. Green Nation. You will see the final results, but it's it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Give me goat and cow, but no pork, says royalty. No want the pork. Every especially the skin. Ah! Same so royalty says Ricardo. But royalty, I've never tried it the Jamaican way. Maybe if you try it the Jamaican way, you'll like it. All right, argument done. Me love pork. I ate pork and bunny for dinner last night. Me not really like bunny though. Only the tough one. Me not really like the, the soft bunny. Susan look humble and simple and she pick up the pork. No hun didn't sleep out, says um Susan. I don't tell no lie upon me. He said the man who sell the pork and he's is a fashion master. Oh But he has a Susan a fashion rasta. Oh god, Susan said I want credit to put up plan. So sad right now. Oh no. So then I have no plan. So then Ricardo win about four thousand dollars worth of credit last night. So if you want some credit, Ricardo must can donate some credit to you. Can we even talk about? No, uh, him say him a uh, like your video or whatever. Or a royalty system. Ricardo, Susan wants some credit. You have about ten thousand. <laughs> Mystic, how much credit you win from Mystic Ricardo? And about ten thousand dollars worth of credit. Come on, boss. Um, Susan wants some of the credit, Rick. Ricardo have alien Wi-Fi, so you have to come good when you come. Listen, I shall move mountains next week to make sure some my internet fix because there is no way. And Ricardo I'd get a big head in them because he thinks I'm at all them spelling and stuff. You know, no, so it's because of the internet. Ricardo said, Bam enough to eat too. <laughs> and this so me and Susan sat as part company because I really like Bami. And all heap of things. Ricardo looked like he was a complicated child. You know, it by me, you know, it, uh, I was complicated as well, to be honest, because I still not eat whole heap of things. Because um, last time I got Jamaica, you know, you know, when you go to Jamaica, you're looking forward to your first meal. And you know, see, so your parents are going to pull out all stocks to give you a first nice meal. So, in my head, I'm so looking forward to my mother's cooking. That's many even what things I mean if you tell the woman what she needs for cooking up. Because in my head, it's I just assume say she's gonna do something nice. This is when we reach a Jamaica. There's no way the woman <laughs> cook gimme. My mother cook gungo soup. I said, mommy. You know, my master, me not drink this as a thing. Gungo soup. And guess what? Another soup, guys. Dashi. Me not eat dashi. Quoko. Me not eat quoko. Breadfruit. Me not eat breadfruit. <laughs> carrot. Me not eat carrot. Well, carrot, Miss Carrot, Miss Carrot, me eat raw carrot, but like the cook one, you know, fancy the cook one. But dashing, cocoa, breadfruit, asaf yam, and oh my god, I was so disappointed. I said, Mommy, you mean to tell me I come from France? And me, I expect you to cook one proper dinner. And a gungu soup, you really cook. <laughs> I half away in the gungu soup, me that it. So, I said, I'm me not drinking. I just took out this, the arm. Um, I took out the, the, the corn pork and the dumpling, and that was it. I don't want nothing else in that soup. 
So that was so disappointing. Royalty said, no pork for my throat. I'd rather eat a bakery full of bulla or tough crackers without water instead. Really? Why? Why no royalty? Like, why? Is it for religious reasons or you just don't like pork? Why? Life with Susan, how are you? says Miss Monica. Jamfet, me love pork, but the one with the worm in it, I'm not eating that. Then hardly touch pork. Well, me and Mystic will share it. Me and Mystic will share it because Mystic agrees so that the touch pork is the best pork. It gives it a nice little exotic flavor. You know? Ricardo, shut up your mouth. Ricardo knows say a teeth in my teeth. You know? <laughs> Ricardo, just come, man. Repent of your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus. And tell us you cheat by Mystic Quest. Me not even, oh, but hold on there. I wonder if Ricardo did go click Mystic StreamYard link. Mystic, you didn't check. Can I just remember some Mystic had a StreamYard link in, a, in a the chat? Maybe that's why Ricardo did click on. Ricardo, me get the revelation. <laughs> Live with Susan, you soon get credit. Ricardo, Susan is begging you some of your credit, please, and thanks. Blessings to you, Miss Monica Green Nation. I see you tonight. I plan up. This was on like a credit Ricardo. Because the amount of credit Ricardo have. Unless he might talk to the whole and face with people, then he ain't can't fulfill all of that the credit. Blessings, Richard Rich. Jamaican kitchen in the house. Pick up yourself, Richard Rich. Wagwan. Richie, Rich, go live for Saturday now. What, how much more minutes to your live, Richie? Richie and Sab. Not complicated. I'm just a picky eater. Give me chicken anytime and I'll eat it. Trust me. I don't know. If me want my students, them love me. Me just get chicken for them. <laughs> we just say, okay, we're going to have some a party with chicken and pizza. And that's it. It's hard to buy credit, not lying. Next time you come by Mystic on a Friday. Yeah, man, anybody who want credit to come by Mystic Sensation, Mystic is my member in green. Mystic Sensation give enough credit on a Friday. Sometimes you say, why make Mystic give us much credit? But, you know, it's Mystic Sensation. That's the digital factory on a Friday night. So. I'm saying Friday night, but it's Friday night for me, maybe Friday evening for you guys. So Richie Rich in the house. Uh, oh, you finna eat breadfruit? No. Mm -mm. I eat roast breadfruit and fried breadfruit, but cooked breadfruit, cooked breadfruit just tastes so much different. Like, you know, uh, when I went back to Jamaica and my mother um, gave me the gongo soup, I'm going to say to myself, say, okay, I don't really like this gungo soup. I'm going to drink it, but I'm going to make an effort. I'm going to say, let me try these things, because a long time I'm going to really eat. I try to eat dashin and breadfruit. So I'm going to say, let me try it. <laughs> I will take the spoon and cut a piece of the dashin and put it on my mouth. I have to run. Just spit you out, man. <laughs> I said, no. 20 years later, I still don't like that taste. It just tastes so horrible. Dashi and breadfruit. Me try the breadfruit. Me have to spit it out. It just tastes so bad. I don't know why, but I can't eat it. Something wrong with your jam fret, says Susan and kids. <laughs> you should tell her what you wanted to eat. But I wasn't think Monica, she always do some nice thing like ackee and salt fish and chicken and rice and peas. So I'm not thinking so she's going to do gungo soup. Good God. Gungo soup? Because, <laughs> Mommy, you really cook gungo soup? And she said to me, say, what wrong with it? And I said, oh, you mean what wrong with gungo soup? Come in and eat that 
Yes, I'll come. You're gonna eat tea. He said, Mommy, find the day you put me out in a dish of earth, and I never eat that. So, all oh, you think, say, me, I'm gonna eat it now. <laughs> <laughs> so, this time I'm gonna tell her, Mother, first night I want fried fish with um, cornmeal dumpling and some ackee and sawfish and some fry roast retro. And there we go. I don't use Facebook, says Ricard. <laughs> I almost forgot to say, you're, you're, you're young. You're the Instagram people. 15 more minutes with you guys. 15 more minutes on the live. Before Christmas, I will do one live. Give away credit and the light thing to do lives. Yeah, man. Um, a long time. I'm not giving you credit to you, but um, we might bring back our credit here. But we'll see. We might do a Jamaica. I want to do a, a, a nice Christmas giveaway. I want to do a nice Christmas giveaway, but I may not have the idea yet. Maybe I'll bring back the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Some people like the Wheel of Fortune, some people eat the Wheel of Fortune, but you know, it could be, you could win big on it. Maggie chicken soup is delicious, says um, royalty. Yeah, I like like chicken foot soup and uh, beef soup and um, a pea soup. I didn't drink pea soup as a child. I didn't drink pea soup as a child. You know, when we start drinking pea soup, I like it. Um, when we buy it from Popeyes. I think one day I went to, um, when we did a play school challenge quiz, and I went to Popeyes and I bought, I don't know why, but I bought like a pea soup just to try it, and it was very good. And that's when I started to drink pea soup a bit. But now I like it. But as a child, I didn't eat it. Like string beans, as a child, I never eat string beans, but now I can eat string beans. And I actually like it now. But uh, dashing, cocoa, breadfruit, and the soft yam. So I like the purple yam. God. Mm -mm. The only yam I like is like the yellow yam, and they have a white yam coming like the yellow yam. It's like thick and dry, just like the yellow yam. That's good for me. Meat wise, no eat any meat. Not a problem. But um, yeah, any meat I can eat. I mean, I think there's one meat on me. I, I don't like freshwater fish because it tastes like dirt. But apart from that, fish, chicken, pork, beef, goat, oxtail, everything we eat. And, oh, except cow skin and cow foot and pig foot. Men are like them there. We're grateful for mystic, says Ricardo. Oh, a true cooked bread fruit for that, right? <laughs> We don't know how people eat it. Uh, we are grateful for you guys. You all make our Fridays very lively and fun. It's a mystic. <laughs> yeah, but I joke me get by that line. I'm always dying with laughter. Always dying with laughter. No matter how me mix. No, but not in the house. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> the lights are turned on and off, guys. No sad duppy there. <laughs> duppy is in the house. I turned off the light two times a while ago. This is a mystery. You drink desperados and you spit out nice breadfruit. <laughs> this way is not bad. We love that soup jam fit. It bad, says Green Nation. Yeah, man, we love soup, fish tea, no jam fit, fish not to eat either. So, we Ricardo eat if him not eat fish, not pork. 
<laughs> Sashi Boo in the building. Send greetings. Good day, everyone. You're late. You're late, Sashi, because I only have 10 more minutes with you guys. 10 more minutes. And then I am going into my bed. I'm going to see who else live. I can go chill with them. But I'm coming to the end of my flat. I hardly use Instagram too. I'm a Twitter person. Oh, yeah. What are the tweets? The tweets. Twitter. I like Twitter. But God, people are full on Twitter. But I actually like Twitter. Remember New York link up. Yeah, man. I got link you. Know, I'll make you know. It's going to be about that. I'm in New York, I think, the 13th of December. 13th to about the. I'm thinking the 13th to about the 16th. No, the 13th to about the 18th. And then I'm coming back there the 27th to about the 2nd. So I'll be there for a bit. Ricardo, where you come from? You don't eat fish either. I'm starting to think you landed with your alien Wi-Fi. Don't let me have to call the special people in black suit. Yeah, what does Ricardo eat if you not um, eat fish? Ricardo, come to the front of the line. Come tell me where you... Freshwater fish is the best, but now I don't eat fish, period. Oxtail, nothing to eat. But Ricardo mad. Ricardo is mad in. Oh, Ricardo, would you like? Would you come to France and try the frog meat and the snails? Would you try the snails and the frog meat? I haven't yet tried them, but I want to try the snails. I'm like on the YouTube, and we do a video trying the snails. But God say no, so me can't eat frog. Bullfrog, no. <laughs> I'm going to try the snails, guys, because like the snails, I'm I can I can see that I'm gonna imagine the snails like it's like a shellfish, so me can try the snails. But bullfrog, no, sir. Me cannot imagine eating bullfrog. That. Mm -mm. Let me I go try the frog. Ricardo said, I only eat chicken. Uh, royalty says, Dop you know, Ufi frighten. Why royalty say that now? No, no, chicken foot I don't eat, says royalty. Chicken foot? Wow, no, man. No, 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 no. Ricardo said, I only eat chicken. Not if I'm being paid with the world. Not in this life. <laughs> no, man. I'm going to do one video with the snail. I don't think I can manage the frog. Can I just think I'm going to vomit? Because I have a sickness where if, um, if somebody else is sick, I just get sick. Like if, you see how when like, the school tell me that the kids them have lice? Me just start itch all over me and me start feel things that crawl all over my body. Like, I am like that. Or, Royalty said, Oh, because you said up in your house. I said, They know who be frightened. And I said, The light is back on, but like it turned off literally two times. Very strange, very strange. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you all for turning. Turn, so I have struggle to talk, you know. I want to thank you all for tuning in to Jamfet Live tonight. If you missed the first part of the program, guys, you need to go back and watch it. It was very cool with Julie Mango and Nathaniel Pete. They were talking about their experiences, struggling with mental health issues, but also, um, you know, what they do as well. And, uh, you know, pretty much... Um, finding your purpose in this life. You know, some people's purpose is to be a big uh, world leader. Others of us is just to make one pe person smile on YouTube. <laughs> but, you know, where you only eat chicken, Ricardo, this will grow feather. And uh, 
Chant says I'm the same way too. Meaning Chant, what do you mean? You don't eat, you only eat chicken as well? <laughs> no man, I true, people now cook their pork and that goat. So Ricardo, you know, eat curry goat and manish water and them stuff? No Ricardo, you're boring. <laughs> <laughs> Meeting made it bad, but you beat me. Anyway, guys, and I also want to thank Raymond Bless for joining my membership. And all those who are members already, thank you for your continued support. And of course, I'm also boasting, guys, because we have hit the 1,700 subscribers and we reach 200,000 views, which, you know, close off yard. <laughs> House of Yak is just coming into the building. House of Yak, what one? Long time, you know, see, you know. I'm going to go by your channel with the I'm going to ask about the activity gone down, man. No only for activity not going on. What is going on, House of Yak? What is going on? Mystic, I'll eat beef every two months. <laughs> Happy Saturday, says House of Yak. Guys, Please, before me leave, if you can like, hit the um, pinned link, um, there's not much content on it, but it's my backup channel. And if you guys don't have it, it's a ninja. Well, it's a real channel, so I can come back to you guys and support you. So please hit that um, pinned link. House of York said, mid fell off the wagon, the whole away. <laughs> the whole we fell off the wagon at some point. Like I had to wake myself up and give myself a shaking because I was just neglecting my channel and not doing any videos, not doing any live, etc. But I have to force myself because you know we work a lot already. So you know, why do somebody say them not eat meat, only chicken? Says so Sashi. Yeah, Ricardo said it a while ago. I'll eat the curry goat, but it's not something I like. No, sorry, Cardi, you need to change the chef in your life. You need to change the chef and find a better chef because she ain't doing the job. Royalty says au revoir. Merci, Royalty. À très bientôt. Uh, J'attends de voir tes vidéos. Hein. Faut que tu travailles un peu plus, là. Sean says no. I mean, if someone else is. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah, that's a problem with me, man. If somebody, me, I hurt, then my knee start hurt me. If somebody start itching, allergies, me start get allergies as well, it's like really complicating. But, uh, <laughs> all right, so happy Saturday to you, House of York. We're actually finishing. May I finish my live? Um, we just have two minutes, 30 seconds. Ricardo says, KFC is my restaurant. Well, if you come to France, Ricardo, you will realize that KFC is not a good restaurant. In Jamaica, KFC tastes good and eat good, and them have barbecue, and them have biscuits and that. In France, they don't have all of that. They only have um, chicken wing and the chicken leg part. I mean, I eat chicken leg. Like, only wings me eat. I mean, I eat chicken leg. So, um, you're not gonna enjoy the KFC, so when you come, you're gonna realize that KFC is not all that <laughs> English, please. Says Ricardo, <laughs> you're fat, but uh, anyway, guys, thank you guys so very much tonight. I had fun with you all. Wings must not be eaten here, Ricardo. No, chicken wing is the best part of the chicken, brother. Chicken wing is the best part of the chicken. I mean, I like the, I don't like the breast. I'm mean, gonna like the leg, but for me, the wing and then the hip, and then like the back, but the neck, the leg, and the breast, not so good. Anyway, guys, I'll uh, I'll be live again tomorrow, and then Monday, you're gonna have to tune in on Monday because I'm going to be releasing my first cooking video. And it's going to be sweet potato ice cream. 
And trust me, it have a buzz. It have a buzz. Ricardo said, breast is the best. No, so it's choking. It's too dry. <laughs> I love wings only part. I agree, royalty. Wings is the only part. Anyway, guys, have a good night. And uh, be good, be safe. And I'll see you again uh, tomorrow. This was Jam Fet 